fucking hell is going on? That sounded a bit desperate, those shots, didn't it? I think it's a famas as well. I don't really want to get close to that. Sounded really close. It must be on the top of the hill, but there's no way he's going to stay on top of the hill. So I'm, e I'm going around on the tree side for now. There's a military base on the other side. He might be going to that, I guess. I don't really know. Bears rarely shoot guns. Hmm. I think it's to do with the the uh, the thumbs, the lack of thumbs. They've got no way to grip the gun. They can pull the trigger, but they can't really aim it anywhere, you know. Uh, not no bad, no bad dad, no not no bad dad. Thank you very much for the prime, and it's royal. Thank you very much as well. And if that was an actual fight and somebody's dead, they'll still be where the shots were, probably. They'll probably be looting, but... It sounded really desperate. Like, I don't really know. It wasn't enough shots to kill a bear. There were too many shots close together for it to be a... Uh, for it to be wolves, you know? There's no way you'd kill a group of wolves like that. Just no way, so... Fuck knows what it was. Unless it was, uh, that guy's down the hill, let's fire and see if we can get him to chase us up the hill. So obviously I can see the dead guy. He died facing this way, so I feel like whoever killed him probably came from this way. Ooh, thwomp. We've got one. In with the gold top, baby. Hey Sprish you're right, dude. Hope you're well. There's still a chance he might come back for that body. He's only just killed him. If he's not, where's he going to go? He's going to be running back back across towards the helicopter on the other side, probably. Can't see a gun on the ground, but from this distance away, I'm not convinced I would see a gun. I'm not going to loot that dead body. I'm not even going to go to him. And I'm saying that now. When I get there, I'm going to run over his dead body and I'll start looting him. You wait. But my intention is not to loot him. Something on the top of the hill there, like where he's, uh, he's dropped loot. 
He's dropped loot from him. Can I not have that? Oh, come on. We was fucking robbed. Oh. My God. Spacesuit. It's a spacesuit. It's a fucking space suit! Why will it not go on? I don't want to. Oh my god, look. Oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this anymore. Can I carry the spacesuit? Why can't I carry the spacesuit? I understand, guys. I understand that I can strip and put it on, but I don't want to suit all my loot out, sort all my loot out in the middle of a fucking mountain. I want to put it in my hand and carry it away. I understand I can wear it, but that's not what I'm trying to do. Someone want to tell me why, why I can't put the suit on? I definitely hit him. He might have dropped on combat. There's not much I can do about it. He might not be dead. He might have a buddy. I don't really know. I'm not wearing any shoes. <laughs> He'll have shoes. Where we're going, we don't need shoes.
thought I saw a dead guy here. What's that, an SVD? No, it moves in. I thought I saw a dead guy. bag. That's the better plate carrier, isn't it? Oh my god, Paul, what are you doing with your life? There's dead dudes everywhere. What gun is that? An AKM? How am I going to get the spacesuit? Like, why am I taking so many guns? I'm about to have to drop them all. I want to get a couple more Mosin rounds. Oh my god, oh my god. And somebody must have the MVGs, right? Oh my fucking hell, this is so complicated now. Somebody must have the helmet for MVGs. Yeah, helmet or a head strap. The, the, hel uh, the helmet would be awkward because, yeah, you're right, I do need a head strap because of the... Uh yeah, you're right, I do. You do. Right, where did the head torch go? We might need that still. I need to get that, I need to get that uh, spacesuit, like really badly, I need the spacesuit. Uh, Yamakaze, thank you, cheers for the support dude, I appreciate it. If I have to, I'll just use the head torch, rather than the, rather than the other thing, but I can't work Remember out how to take that spacesuit. you weren't going to loot the dead guy? Somebody said the spacesuit can only be picked up empty. God, that is frustrating. But yeah, I'll give that a try. You can't carry the suit, Sparky. I've got to. I've got to put it on. I'd go drop all your shit in a bush. But I can't even have a gun. I'm going to do it on the pile. Fuck it. I'm just going to do it where it where it is. It's time to start running. I think I actually prefer the AK-101, but the AKM's got more bullets, so I think we've got to go with the AKM. To be honest, that's only a guess that the AKM's got more bullets as well, but... Bye. 
Holy fuck! He's fucking despawned. It's time to start running. This seems like a very typical loot hoarding from Paul. No, 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 no. No fucking way. Oh, I can't believe I've just... Love you, Carl. Oh. I love you. Simple. The spacesuit. The spacesuit is gone. Where's that red dot that I was liking so much? Did I drop it? I think I dropped it when I dropped... No, I kept it, but I haven't got it now. I don't know where it is. The red dot I was going to kind of use. I actually contemplated F11. Really fucked off about that. Saw a vid about someone becoming the richest chicken farmer. Up next up for TRMZ, how a 12,000 hour days pro ran the richest worm cartel. Dude, it's coming, it's coming to an angry, angry chair viewing experience near you. <sighs> Fucking bollocks, what a crock of shit. Guys have been busy, haven't they? Fucking hell. Who had the blue thing? The, the guy. I. I also need the, the little mini disc thing. The. Uh, the. The bit that you need to do the printing. The. The fucking guy had that despawned. So he had the uh, the documents or whatever they are. So I'd have to get three filaments and the little blue thing as well. Yeah, the blueprint thing, yeah. Oh, fucking... I am really fucked off. It's time to start...
Well, we've massively changed our loot now. Anyway, I'm going to go back to that last dead guy. <sighs> I guess we're going to go looking for filaments and stuff. We're fully, fully geared. We need a head strap, really. Where did I put the... Uh, did I leave the head torch? I still need that. I think I left the head torch down here. I might need it in case I do find a spacesuit and I don't have the head strap. Who's more pissed off, me or the dead guy? The dead guy is less pissed off. I'm more pissed off. Fucking bollocks. I don't know what I've done with the head strap now. Head torches at the suit spot. Okay, I'll go and grab that. There's no way the guy that I just killed over there will be despawned yet. I killed him. He'll, he'll still be around for a little bit yet. Bad government, thank you for the tier 3 resub. Thank you, Angry Chair, Gun Hippie, thank you as well. Guys, I know I've missed some other alerts, but while I'm here on this uh, Nightmare Hill, I'm just going to focus on the, having a nightmare for a minute. I'm so pissed off I couldn't drop that spacesuit off onto the ground. I don't think it really matters that I've lost my bag with whatever was in it, because I've got so much other loot, it doesn't really matter. I'm, I can't think of anything that I needed. Is the body gone, or is it further up? I think it's further... Yeah, it's up there, isn't it? I can't really think about anything that was in the bag that I sorely need. I saw him. Yeah, I saw him just now. <gasps> EG. He's got me dialed in. I've got to go back. I can't see him very well. He can clearly still see me, but he knows roughly where I am, so...
I don't think he'll push up and follow. I really don't. But I'm going to go try and go back this way. Lone Survivor, Lou Media, thank you very much for the bits, both of you. That change there might just make it a slightly easier to see. What if he stole the suit? I'd be surprised if he did. The players despawned, you know. I'd be surprised if he did. Been sitting on these for years, BC. Haven't had time for Twitch. I found you on YT and knew you'd deserve every bit of it. I know I'm bleeding, but I ain't got time to fuck around right now. I just want to get this way. Holy shit, this is a, there's a lot of people up here. Fuck me. What was that? A Vega he was shooting. He's probably frustrated at his uh, recent shooting at the sky with the Vega. actually helping me very much. I think we're just going to get away from here. It's we, We've got a very good gear up right now and I just like to survive. I'd like to get down here. We're going to need to warm up. We're going to need to make a fire. I think I'd just like to get away for now. The MVGs work great in certain scenarios, but it's really foggy, so I just can't see very far. It doesn't really make any odds. It makes things worse right now. As soon as I get in the forest, the MVGs will be really important. Forest, it's one tree. Zed Dietrich donated seven dollars and sixty two cents. Yeah, when we're in here, oh, still not making a lot of difference to be fair. It's more for the underground area than I guess. So I am losing health right now because I'm dark blue, so we need to do something about that as well. thousand hour daisy player wins at king of the hill i managed to swap nearly all of my loot around and i have no fucking clue what i've got and what i haven't got right now that much i know for sure fucking hell am i
Yeah, we've been streaming eight hours. We've still got a little while left. Yeah, four hours to go. That's what I was trying to find. I think the person will probably expect me to come here. I don't even know if I've still got my lighter or not. It, like my entire loot is like all up in the air. I don't seem to have the lighter anymore. I can use the heat pack up. Well, we are not where I thought I was. This is actually good. I can use the heat pack, but I think actually it'd be better off to, to find somewhere and just make a proper fire. And also loot myself a new jacket as well. I might try for the jacket now. Look on the new jacket front. I'm not sure where the nearest place for me to make a safe safe fire is in here. Like a lot of the places you can make a fire are quite exposed. I don't know if there's one in here. Right, this will do. This is Twitchy. Uh, thank you very much. ZD Trips, thank you very much as well. Holy shit, this has been tense. That's so unlucky. I was so excited to get that... Uh this is not the best one in the world, really. I was so excited to get that... Uh, the the, the uh, spacesuit. I've, I've had the spacesuit twice. That's the first time I would have been, like, gifted a spacesuit, as it were. That would have been so fucking cool. Insane Hades has just donated $50. Hope your day is going well. Love seeing more and more people watching. Ah, uh, Insane Hades, thank you very, very, very much, dude. Cheers for the continued support. That's incredibly generous as well, by the way. Thank you very, very much, dude. 50 bucks is a lot of money. Thank you very much for the support, man. Thank you. Well, what's going on with that? It's not going in the fire for some reason. Does it go there? No, it won't. What about you? Will you go there? Yeah, you will. I might go back towards where that firefight was if the weather clears up. appears to be bugged. It won't let me eat it. It won't let me do anything with it. William, there was that busy, was it? Fucking hell, dude. Well, like, there's... I've killed two up there, and there's a third still around, so there's still a lot of people there. Fucking hell, dude. 
Official, thank you very much for the news. I've been saying Hades, thank you for the tip. This is Twitchy, thank you, Jebib. Uh, this sniper duel reminds me of the famous Irish sniper that could kill Bounce. Ah, oh, Ricochet joke, my god. I nearly read it out as well. <laughs> non violent, thank you so much for the tip. That's really kind. Been sitting on the, for these for years because I haven't had time for, for Twitch. I found you on YouTube, uh, knew you deserve every bit. Oh, dude, that's really kind. Non violent, thank you very much, dude. Thank you. Uh, cheers for choosing to use them on me. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Uh, I hope you're still here, by the way. I know that it's been hectic, so I've been missing these for a while. Lou Media, Lone Survivor, thank you very much. Bad Government, Angry Chair, Gun Hippie, AK Recef, uh, Darth Jake, Batmax, thank you very much. L Illu, thank you for the gifted subs. Sir Didymus, thank you for the prime. Fry Fry, Batmax, thank you again. Tom, thank you for the gifted subs. Go Fats, Angry Guy. And I think we're back to where I was, but... Well, sadly for you, William, I'm quite pleased about that scenario. <laughs> uh, oh, God, that was tense. I'm really gutted that the body would despawn before I could loot it, though. That that sucks. Do you know what? I, I ought to be drying my clothes. Why? Is there any point drying my clothes out? Not really. Because they're all still going to be wet anyway. Just try and dry these out if I can. As soon as I leave, I think they're going to be wet, aren't they? So, probably not worth it. Oh, it's really not worth it now, so... I'm going to go back to where we just killed that last dude. I never looted him or anything, but the other guy that took suppressed shots at me is probably going to be nearby, isn't he? So, perhaps have a quick look to see if I can find a jacket. visibility is shocking what I don't understand with the uh, like apparently the AK-74 TV channels when I can watch you play my favorite game you are the best Pingo dude thank you very much thank you for the for the resub cheers for the kind words Funk M thank you for the prime official side thank you for the new sub as well cheers for the support guys thank you yeah the AKM's meant to have the same recoil as the 74 but whenever I shoot it it always seems to have more recoil it never feels the same. I don't know if that's just me imagining it or what. But donated ten dollars. Hope all is well. Uh, the server's full, Emon, but I don't know how many players are in it, dude. I don't. Well, I, I do, but I don't really want to say because it kind of like outs the server I'm on, dude. That is weird. Look at that. You can see trees, but no mountain. I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, it's meant to have the same recoil, but it doesn't feel it to me. I'm not even convinced this, these MVGs are any use when I'm not... Uh when I'm out in the open like this on the snow, I think the MVGs are worse than no MVGs. bit fucking bleak weather-wise, isn't it? Well, I think he shot me with a Pioneer. And then tried to use a Vega on me afterwards. It is slightly better for, like, the, the distance there. Oh, 
his jacket's not ruined. Oh my god. It's time to start running. He's actually a lot more geared than he looks like he should be. Where's my cooking pot gone? That's my cooking pot, isn't it? That's my cooking pot. I think that'll do. Don't need that. Actually could do with that. If he's got more 22, that'd be good. Don't see any. This guy's pretty stacked. Right. Is it worth it for this bag? Is it worth it? No, it's not. Let's leave it. Yeah, that's a Mayan detector. It'll tell me when there's an event coming, but I don't really need it, really. Not really. going to try and get down the mountain for now and get away from there. We've got to go and start searching for parts. We've got so much stuff for going to land here. It's insane. I dropped that bag and my stamina went down. I am kind of struggling with stamina right now. I, I probably could have used that bag and hit the loot, but never mind. I'm not going to repair the coat halfway down the hill, Tom. I, I'm just not going to do it. I'm not even sure I've got my sewing kits anymore. I think they were in my bag. Have fun for the rest of the stream. Gotta go. Thumbs up. Bendix, dude, thank you for the nine months. Cheers for the support. Thank you very much. Bearman's Twitch baby. McCune, thank you for the gifted sub. The bear, thank you for the tip as well. You're very, very kind, dude. Thank you. Oh, fucking hell, that was tense. I'm going to drop that. Have I actually got a cleaning kit of any sort? It's time to start running! I hope all is going well. Congrats on the 7k plus subs. I'm not running in the direction from the shooter now. I'm running down the hill and away for now. Uh, Mr. Zami, thank you very much. Cheers for the support. Thank you. DH1888, thank you as well. Check pot, I just looked in the pot. I know what's in there. It's not It's not a sewing kit. It's food and grenades. Oh, dear me. It's all because we're Burnside, exactly. Uh, the tide turned as soon as we got to be him.
Scum, if you want to stash something, you need a shovel and you can make a loot box with uh, planks of wood and uh, and nails. Or you can bury a dry bag, a yellow box, you can bury a sea chest if you can find one. So you, you can make crates and you can bury loot, but you uh, you kind of have to work at it a little bit. He'd ran out of bullets for that. Pickaxe and garden hoe was work will work as well. Yeah, good shout. It's not just a shovel. That's true. You have to remember where you look, you hit it though. Otherwise, you'll, you're never going to find it. Obviously, you know you got to you got to go back to the exact spot. I don't need a flash a flashlight. Oh, if you mean this one, yes, the head torch. Yes, I do. Because if we do get a spacesuit at the moment with this helmet, I wouldn't be able to use the MVG, so I'd need to use the head torch. I, I'm so gutted we just missed out on that that spacesuit. I'm really really gutted. And I'm like the group that we just were involved with. I'm sure they're gutted too, but Yeah, I need the flashlight in case I get lonely. That's right. James, well, I think the burying of loot thing is is something you can do on all servers, you know. It's like the game, you know. I guess so are worms, but to be fair, I, I don't know. I've never actually tried to bury a stash on the mouse. I'm sure you can do it, but I've never actually bothered. It wasn't ruined, Beer Tap. I had to take all my clothes off and empty everything out of the suit, I think. The suit had to be empty and all of my clothes had to be off, with no gun in my hand, no nothing at all. And then I could put the suit on. The suit was worn, so it could definitely be worn by me. It wasn't ruined, that's right. One Tom, no. When you log out, your, your character only stays in the server for a number of seconds. On vanilla, your character stays in the server for 15 seconds. Modded servers or community servers, they can make it a bit longer. But if you're logged out, like your character doesn't stay there forever. No, you, you're logged out. You can't be killed like 20 minutes after you log out or something. I did say you could bury a dry bag silent foot. I just talked. He asked about can you can you use what can you use? So I talked through different options. loads of stuff yet I have no more no more stamina than I had before <laughs> these fuckers aggro on me I'm gonna lose my shit
Chainsaw <laughs> underscore squirrel donated ten dollars. We <laughs> to tip your stream a day. Don't lose your shit, just take the money. There was two. There was two. That sucks. I did think there was two. I was turning around in case there was. He broke my leg. He broke my leg and then that, that was that. I was fucked. That sounded like the uh, VSS or the AS Val. So the, that I think that was the suppressed guy from the top of the hill. That sounded like an AS Val to me. Very, very high rate of fire. And yeah, I think that's what it was. Uh, I think I had to finish the guy off, but it looked like they'd aggroed to somebody else. Unfortunately, they'd aggroed to his buddy, you know, and that sucks. That was a lot of fun, though. That was really, really fun. I think we're going to change... Uh, we're going to change to probably experimental, I guess, now, you know. But that, that was cool. At least we had a really good run after a bit of a struggle. That was kind of cool. A little bit gutted we didn't get the suit, but we'll see. There's always another day. Bronk, thank you very much for the support. Chainsaw, we, we, it's tip your streamer day. Don't lose your shit. Just take the money. <laughs> Cheers for the support, dude. I did lose my shit, but never mind. It's okay. Uh, General Two Payne, hope you're good, it. dude. Thank Keep you for the resub. Call. Thank you love very much. You, bye. Zami, Savage, thank you. Wolfie, thank you very much as well. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. All right, let's have a look in here. What's the player pop like in uh, Experimental? It's good. All right, we're doing Experimental Livonia. If one of the mods can change the... Uh, if one of the mods can change the uh, title of the stream. If we're... If we're around to do it if not i can do it batmax dude thank you very good run amazingly played thank you batmax that was cool that was a lot of fun whack out thank you you've just spelt livonia slightly wrongly but other, sorry that's really sarky but li but i think that's a typo you know that right Thank you, Wackgatter. The modding is uh, much appreciated. Oh, I, I, Uncle Food's changed it. Cheers, both of you guys. Thank you. Just, ca Just can't get their stuff. That ain't true. It, when I see Wackgatter modding, it makes my heart smile. there is such a thing we're fucking we're, we're combat logging into a into a deer so this is Livonia this is experimental this is where the tunnels are nearly but remember exactly where we've got to go you have a heart. I thought you were a stone cold killer. Oh, you thought wrong. <laughs> I don't know where I am here. Alright, let's have a look at the map. Mappity mappity map. We're in 0207, so. O twelve, O seven, close to the road. So I'm going the right way. I thought I had to go that way. So just I just need to get on the road. We're going to quickly check the the, the site. So yesterday, uh, Palana and Swarog were both gassed, and so I came here. I came to Dambog in the hope of finding someone to shoot against, and th there was nobody there. And we had seen dead zombies and whatnot. So I think we were a little bit unlucky, but we'll try again. Swim your brain. What does experimental mean when compared to to regular Daisy? It's. Uh, am I even going the right way? I might be going the wrong way here. You know. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Where's the map? I'm going the wrong way.
Uh, cheers, Batmax, Wolfie, Frank, uh, Chainsaw, and General Payne. Hope all you guys are good. Thank you. This is the character from yesterday, Benji, so we're on experimental. Getting back to what the difference is between experimental and stable, the DayZ devs introduced new patches like this year, five times hopefully, before they push it to stable so everyone can play it. They uh, they test it, they push it to experimental, they get players in, they test it, they, they incrementally improve it, remove the bugs or try to fix what's wrong, tweak things a little bit based on feedback and then they push that patch to stable. So this is the 119 experimental patch which is going to land on the stable version of the game in October on October the 18th, all being well. One nineteen's got lots and lots of cool different changes. If you if you type exclamation patch, all one word, into the chat, it'll bring you up a list of the, the changes to the game. I think I've kind of got over the spacesuit thing, to be honest. I'm just glad that we had a firefight and it was a lot of fun. I'm a little bit frustrated that I didn't realise there was two. I thought there'd be two, and there was, but yeah, shit happens. So from what I remember, we've only got one mag for the M16, which is why I'm still carrying the baby AK, because it's uh, it's that little bit, uh, well it just gives me a bit more flex with the bullets. Uh, yeah, I've got the M16 baby AK and then my ranged weapon is an SKS with a damaged scope. That'd be good to get a new scope as well. Should have used your grenades. I couldn't do, Colin. That's just not true, dude. In order to throw the grenades into the building where he was, I've got to go and stand right by the building and there's like umpteen zombies there, so I never could use the grenades. There's no way because I, in order to throw it into that building, you've got to be standing right next to the building where all the zombies are. You know, you just can't do that, dude. So no, I don't agree. Save your battery. That's actually a good shout. I've only got kind of low batteries at the moment. I think I did it okay. It's one of those situations. I, I shot the dude and knocked him on con. And then I've got to be like making a choice. Do I finish him off or do I see if there's another? But if I don't finish him off... And then he's shooting me in the back. That's no good. I had to try and finish him off. Uh, and then I span around immediately thinking there might be another. But he was quick to come out the door. And that was that. You know, shit happens. Bradge, thank you for the, for the Bradge man's Twitch baby. Cheers for the support. Thank you. Weird, I'm so used to the I'm so used to the inertia now that I've just switched from one to the other, I haven't even noticed. Oh great. That was meant to be a melee weapon. Oh, fucking hell. It was meant to be a melee weapon, but I couldn't switch to it because my pistol had gone in my bag where the, where the rifle was. So I'd accidentally switched to my uh, baby AK, and then I couldn't get the baby AK back away to switch to my knife. Because the, the pistol had gone... ...in this go gap here, and there was no more room.
What's my happiest memory of my Amiga watch? Oh, that's, a, that's a big question. So I used to have an Amiga Speedmaster. I'd say my happiest memory is buying it, to be honest. I, I went down to I went down to Lakeside and I thought I was going to buy a blue one, blue dial one. And I picked a white, a uh, black dial one, sorry. And, and I, I really liked it. I really, I really liked it. I liked it more every day for, I don't know, five, six years or whatever. But because I sold it because I was in debt, I guess it kind of sp spoiled it a little bit, but that was the only watch I owned for a long time, and I really, really liked it. Uh, but yeah, I ended up pissing all my money away, gambling and other things as well, so I ended up selling it, so it kind of spoiled the memory of that in a way, you know? Well, that was loud, wasn't it? Fucking hell. Alex, well, that, that was a long time ago. It wasn't recent. That was uh, maybe eight, nine years ago. Maybe eight years ago. I don't know. So, yeah, I, it's okay. I, uh, I I don't need that now. I, I'm not really doing that. Well, I'm not really. I'm not doing it at all. I haven't had a bet in about six years, seven years. I don't know. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not really in the same position now, thankfully. I don't intend to go back either. I've not played Prip yet, yet, no. Lakeside in Thurrock, yeah, Paddy, it was in Lakeside Thurrock, yeah. I used to live in Essex, so it was quite close close by, yeah. Joseph, yeah, this is the inertia. That's why, although it feels normal, I'm struggling a little bit with it, like I'm trying to go through a doorway and my character's not moving in the same way but I've just spent eight and a half hours or eight hours or so playing without inertia so it's taken me a little while to switch between the two this is heading down towards the entrance to the tunnels if there's going to be players around we'll see them soon Scope is annoying. So I don't have a punch card, so there's no point staying here for too long. an eye out on the trees as best I can. Shit, shit, shit. Two players, I think. going for it. 
I saw him down. I think they might be going in. He's got MVGs. We traded. I'm pretty sure he died as well. Oh, the zombies really fucked me up. To be fair, it was me shooting, so they probably should. But whenever you get shot at, they always aggro it on you, you know. But, oh, well. Actually, don't really mind starting afresh, you know. It's not the end of the world, but at least we, we took them both with us, you know. Oh, the, the zombies were a nightmare. But that's kind of the way they should be. I fired, so they aggroed on me. Do I mind sharing your thoughts on gambling addiction? Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> There's not much to think, really. It's uh, And if you've got any specific questions, far away. But yeah, I, gambling addiction is a very strange thing. It's like, looking back now, it's like, like it's somebody else and it wasn't me, you know? like It doesn't seem possible that I could do that now, myself. It just doesn't seem possible, but I did. So yeah, I don't know. Not sure if you noticed this, but the ruined building with the little room under the stairs. Yeah, they are. Well, I think I think a lot of them are a bit buggy, brew dog. Like when you run off the edges and things, you don't run off like you used to. Kuraz, it's 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 hard to break stuff like that, but I think with any addiction, the first step is to admit you've got a problem, and then maybe if you can talk to other people and admit with them that you've got a problem. Because once you've, uh, certainly for me personally, and I have never done any like, uh, I didn't do any reading up on it, but I, in the end I just like, I told my, my ex, I told my mum my, and dad, and I, told, I kind of spoke about the, what I'd done and what I'd, what, and then once it was out in the open it, it became kind of easier to face into in a way. I don't really mind that we died there, that was okay. I think I killed them both, I think I traded with, I did hit that guy, the guy that, the guy that I just traded with, I'd shot him already. My little spray, I did hit him, it just didn't knock him unk on. Richie, well thanks for coming in, I appreciate it, dude. Massey, bruh, thank you for the six months. Sam, thank you for the two. Vraj, thank you for the nine. It's time to start running! Sam, thank you, it's, it's doing really, really well, that video. Yesterday's video is doing well, so far, anyway. Thank you. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, addiction is such a hard thing to break as well. You know, like I, like talking about myself, like just the things I would do. I just there's no rational way of explaining it. You know, like I've talked about it a lot in the past. But one one month I got paid, and I gambled all of my salary or uh, salary away the day I got paid, and then two or three days later I had to pay all of the bills and I had no money. You know, I I gambled all of my money and like. I don't know, at the time I probably earned after tax about £1,600, but the bills were 1450 or 1500 and I had no money. Was it the thrill of winning money? I don't think it's really easy to explain, Stevie. I don't... I think it was... I think it... I was very unhappy in general. I was very unhappy in general. I... I 
I felt like I was better than like when I started gambling I worked in a shop and I earned not very much money and I felt that I was capable of more and I'd wasted my time at school and I wasn't trying hard enough and I kind of got myself stuck in retail and I felt like I'd like, you know I just wasn't happy I wasn't happy with what I'd achieved because I hadn't done done it right I hadn't tried I was like when I was at school I was always in the top set I was always one of the most intelligent but I didn't get the best results because I was lazy, you know, I didn't try hard enough. I, and when I did A-levels, I did next to nothing. I'd pick the wrong ones and I didn't, like, choose to retake them. And, like, I chose sociology and hated it, but I knew that after three months. But instead of changing, I did sociology for two years and I fucking hated it. I just didn't like it. And I, I ended up in retail and, and, like, got concerned with, uh, like, for, for the first five years or so after I left school, I just enjoyed going down the pub and what young people do. But then I was married and I had kids and I was stuck in jobs that didn't pay very much and I'd not, I'd just not tried. I'd, I'd not done what I was capable of and I felt like I was capable of doing something reasonable. Certainly different than uh, working in shops and whatnot and I just hadn't done that, you know, I, I felt like a failure. And so I probably, and I was very good, believe it or not, even though I lost a load of money, I was very good at reading form and I was very good at picking out horses that had a decent chance of winning at big odds, you know. I'd pick out a horse at 80 to 1. And it would come second by a neck or it would come third. And not all the time, but I picked out horses that had a better chance than their reflective odds. But it doesn't really matter if you're very good at it or not, because bookies make the books so that they make money and you don't win. You know, that's how it works. Of course it does. <clears throat> but yeah, I think it was it was a whole host of things. I wasn't very happy in my then relationship my, with my ex-wife. I... Uh, I certainly felt very insecure about myself and what I was doing. I didn't like the job I was doing and I was never going to go anywhere. I felt like I was going to keep plodding along in debt until I, uh, with no, with no uh, pension and no nothing, you know. I, I, I uh, yeah, I just wasn't very happy. And I think I probably got to the point, well, I've got fuck all. I might as well be in debt and have fuck all because I've got fuck all anyway, you know. And it wasn't the right attitude, but it's probably where I got to. What is defined as an addiction? I, I think that's that's a subjective thing, but it's certainly something you can't stop, you know. Like no rational person would gamble their salary away two days after two days before they've got to pay the bills with that money, you know. If you've got to pay bills with money, you don't you don't go and buy something, you have to you have to save it for the bills, right? You're not even saving it, but it's already allocated for the bills, you know. No rational person would do that, you know. That, that's addiction, isn't it, you know? If you're drinking every day and you can't have a day without alcohol or you, you're having alcohol most of the time, you can't not have it and you're drinking alone, you're drinking for the wrong reasons, then yeah, same thing, you know. John, I, 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 addiction, no, are you missing, misinterpreting what I'm saying, dude? With regards to alcohol, somebody saying they have a glass of wine every night might consider themselves to be addicted. Somebody could consider themselves addicted, but somebody else that's having a bottle of whiskey every four days might consider themselves not addicted, you know, like, it's very hard to quantify. I, I'm going to disagree with you on that. I'm not saying that you can't do it with some kind of, like, book or something, or with a questionnaire, but as an individual, there'll be people addicted that don't realise they are, and there'll be people that aren't addicted that think they are, you know, that's a fact. I'm, I'm, it just is. I'm, I'm sorry, dude, it is, it is kind of subjective for the individual when they're trying to work out if they are in, addicted themselves. Kurt, I've been a full-time Twitch streamer slash YouTuber for six and a half years. Rux, uh, I'm not going to talk about my salary, dude. It's a bit kind of uh, rude to talk about salary, but uh, I've got <laughs> 7,000 subscribers, so unless I'm getting like 80 cents on, on each subscriber, that would be very wrong, wouldn't it? Infinity, I think low self-esteem is definitely a part of it. Yeah, I think there is.
Oh look, there's a there's a trucky truck. I don't think we'll be driving that shit up. That'll just tie me over a little bit. The next town along will probably have food, but that, that will help a little bit. It will. Trying actually to be careful not to get injured or not to have to waste a bandage didn't work. Did it? Have you ever killed JLK? Jordan, uh, JLK is in two of my YouTube videos. I kill him twice in the Perfect Day in Daisy video. Uh, so, in the Perfect Day in Daisy video, near the end, there's a huge firefight and I kill, I think, five players. And one of them is JLK, and then one of the ones that run back just afterwards is him as well. So, yeah, I kill him twice in that. Uh, this is no great shakes though. A kill in Daisy doesn't make you better than someone. It's situational, you know. If you're killing someone from the side and they don't know, it, 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 it's not like oh god, I'm better than JOK4. It, that's not what I'm saying. Uh, and I think he's also in the video the uh, the one that's the standoff at the airfield, but I don't kill him. Uh, th there's a there's a really cool video where I'm stuck at the top of the airfield going, well, fuck off then. I'm not giving up. If you want to come in, I'll shoot you. Otherwise, fuck off. <laughs> that was good. Who is JOK? He's one of the biggest uh, YouTubers for, for DayZ. He, he makes a lot of DayZ videos. Got, I don't know, six or 700,000 subscribers on YouTube or something like that. Yeah, that was Perfect Day in DayZ, Topper. Yeah, that, that was. Stop removing comments, dude. Uh, this is not this is not the the free speech police. Uh, we we don't talk ill of other streamers, whether it's true or it's not. That's just drama. I don't need here, dude. So, stop making contentious comments, and you won't have your comments removed. If you check the rules, we don't talk ill of other content creators. It's a rule. It's a rule in the chat. Read the rules and follow them. And if you break them, don't cry about getting a message deleted. It's only a message deletion. Big deal. Right, uh, hopefully we can get some food here and probably a gun as well would be good. It doesn't even matter if it's true or not, you know, like what you were saying by the way, it doesn't matter whether it's true or not. I don't want my stream tra chat to be a vehicle for shitting on other creators, you know, I, I don't want to do that. Whether it's true or it's not, if I allowed my chat to be a place where you could talk ill of other DayZ streamers or DayZ YouTubers, that wouldn't be good for me. I, I, that would make me look like a right prick. I don't want to do that. You know, why would I allow that? That would make me an idiot, wouldn't it? You know, like, if you if you go to a car dealership and you go to the Mercedes car dealership and the guy in the Mercedes car dealership spends all his time telling you why BMW are shit, you probably won't buy a Mercedes, you know. You'll go out of there thinking, what a fucking cowboy, you know. What an absolute cowboy. Why would he do that, you know. They've got this amazing product, but all he did on did his shit on somebody else's product, you know. Same difference here, you know. I, I, I'm not that streamer, but I don't want to allow people to talk ill of them. It's just completely common sense, you know. Have I ever come across Neza? I haven't. I think he plays more modded servers than I do most of the time, you know. Don't have a look this way. I have Mad Dave. Me and Sarah had a stream a little while ago, but we did. 
What has helped you getting out of your addiction? Infinity, finding something else to be addicted to. I, it's not the. It's probably not the right way, but it, it's the way I am. You know, I. So, th the the weird thing is, and this is this is a weird way to look at it. But if I had not become a gambling addict, I would not be a Twitch streamer, which is a weird way to look at it. But it's probably true. So. I uh, I was addicted to Twitch. I was addicted. Sorry, I was. I am addicted to Twitch now in a way. But I was addicted to form and gambling and studying form and trying to work out things and try and uh, uh, try and uh, like find s some edge that somebody else didn't have. And then I kind of fell into Daisy and I fell into it. And then I ended up starting to stream. Sorry, starting to make videos. And that that addiction that I had, that kind of fascination for stats and horse racing form and such like turned into editing and then looking at how my videos were doing and replying to comments and working out how to improve my videos and and where to share them and how to make them and and how to build build that channel and it wasn't because I was expected to make money out of it it just I got fascinated by that and focused on that instead you know that I found a healthy addiction and I'm not sure that's the right answer for some people but it might be it might be better to be I, I don't know addicted to going down the gym as long as it's not stupidly unhealthy, you know, but if you can find something else to be your passion, to occupy your brain, like, it's very hard to get away from, uh, I don't know, gambling if, if it's hard, it's all you can think about. So maybe my way is not the way that you're meant to solve it, but it, I, I think I probably did some stuff that people do if they go into, like, the steps thing, but I, I didn't, I didn't, I don't know what those steps are. But I admitted that I was doing it. I admitted myself that it was ruining my life and things were going to get really bad for me if I carried on doing it. And then I spoke to people around me about it and admitted it to them. And then I uh, I tried to work on finding a way to do something else with my time that was more productive. <clears throat> what did I gamble on? Pretty much everything. Horses, golf, cricket, football, uh, any sport you can think of. Not very much into, like, like <laughs> everything's chance, but not like, I don't like slots or anything like that. I, I, don't, I wouldn't do shit <laughs> like that. The only time I'd play slots is if I had a big win. The way gamblers are, you know, I'd have a big win, and that night I'd have a load of money sitting in my account, and then I'd go and play slots for five minutes, but not for very long, because even I knew slots were stupid, and I was an addicted gambler pissing my money up the wall. Yeah, Mezzer, I think it's quite common. You know, like a lot of people give up smoking by starting vaping, and then hopefully down the line they can give up vaping, you know? Whether it's... It must be better, but it's certainly better than nicotine. I'm oh, sorry, uh, like proper cigarette smoking, I guess. But it's a start, but it, hopefully it's a bridge to something else, you know? Like, that, that's probably the ideal scenario, you know? And it's quite common for all of us, you know? When I... When I uh, when I go on a diet, I normally replace my snacking with something healthy. Everybody does, you know. So instead of having crisps, you have something crunchy that's not crisps, you know. Sugar snap peas or cup chopped up carrots, and they make you depressed. But at least they're trying to they're trying to give you that same kind of thing without being unhealthy, I guess. You know, that's really common, isn't it? Am I running up to the bunker again? I just died at the bunker, but at least I took the two fuckers with me. It's a shame. I think one of them had night vision goggles as well. That would have been really cool, but... Uh, Strictly speaking, on this server, those dead bodies will be there for an hour, you know. I wonder if I should have tried to get back down there. If I'd have got a toppling spawn, I could have ran back down there. Too late now, though. I've been, I've been dead ages. I didn't even think about it, but never mind. It's really hard, though. I... I all addiction is bad. The thing, the thing with addiction, right, is that people can be addicted. Like all, di all addictions are bad. I'm not saying gambling is worse, but with gambling, you can completely function normally to the outside world, and nobody knows except for you. And you're walking around with the whole weight of the world on your shoulders, like absolutely on the verge of God knows what, like absolutely breaking apart inside. But nobody else knows, and you can carry on pretending like everything is fine. Like, if you watch the film Uncut Gems, you know, if I watch that film, it really churns my stomach up. I, I really... It, I, I really struggle. I struggle to watch Uncut Gems because it made me feel like I used to feel. 
like by proxy via Adam Sandler, you know, like it, it, the feeling of that, like when you, I don't know, you've just lost loads of money that you don't have, and then you, you're worried how you're going to pay the bills, and you, you you've got to pay half of the food shopping tomorrow, but you've got no money. In fact, you've not only got no money, you're now more in debt, you know, like, like that. Decent. That feeling is really Dreams hard. Donated ten dollars. Sup dude, just on the topic as someone who's currently getting help for a big drug and gambling addiction where I gamble all my money while on drugs your streams have helped a lot so they have to get away from the world for a minute really appreciate oh, it. dreams dude if you're struggling financially by the way do not be tipping me you know if you've had gambling issues and you're struggling financially as a result don't send tips to me dude just don't do it you don't, just don't do it thank you for the for the thought but you don't need to tip me you know write it in the chat and if you don't see it write it again but yeah, I, I, like, people, there's there's a lot of addicted gamblers. They reckon there's about four or five hundred thousand addicted gamblers in the UK, and most of them are walking around completely normally, and nobody knows, you know. Uh, but they know, and they're really struggling, really, really struggling. I think not everyone has an addiction. Most people have a vice. Most people have a vice, but not everyone has an addiction, you know. Some people are more prone to addiction than others. I am. I get fascinated by something. It, I, I've always been fascinated by DZ, DayZ. It's probably why I'm here, so it's been a positive in some ways. But if my brain gets really interested in something, I can't think about anything else, you know. I really am into watches, you know. The amount of hours I could pour over, over the same thing, you know, like... I'll see a watch that I like in a store, and then I'll, I'll go home and I'll watch videos on the watch. But not for one day, for weeks, you know. Not the same video, obviously, but I'll go and find loads of information. I, I won't even buy it. Do you know what I mean? I get really fascinated by shit. Too much so. And and think some people are much more prone to addiction and they have, like, addictive personalities than others, you know. Maybe they're just... Maybe, I'm talking about me here. Maybe you're just a bit weaker in some ways, but I think it's more of a... Like something that's in you, you know, you just get more fascinated by things than you should some for some reason. <coughs> I, I don't think I've got ADHD, BenQ. I may, maybe I, I might have something, but I don't think it's ADHD, no. I know a little bit about ADHD, uh, and I know a little bit about how it can affect your brain and... I, I don't have, like, ADHD can feel like you've got, like, like a load of noise in your head and you struggle to think about any one thing. A lot of ADHD sufferers struggle with reading and struggle to keep on a particular task or anything. I, I don't have that. I, like, if I have something I need to do, I'm, re I'm a really quite a lazy You're person. Awesome. But if I have something that I'm meant to do, I have to do it. I can't... I can't, like, fascinate on the, the, the logistics of how I'm going to do it. I just start doing it and I do it, whatever it might be, you know. I might fuck it up, but, I, yeah, I definitely, I don't think I'm AD, ADHD, no. I might have some kind of OCD, maybe, yeah, but... It is very different, but uh, ADHD, I don't think... Nor, I don't think I have any of the symptoms of it personally, anyway, but not that I'm worried. I know somebody. Uh, I know somebody fairly close to me that has ADHD. So I have quite like how they how they have it, and I see how that is. You know. <laughs> but I have it with all sorts. Like I, I think a lot of people have it. Though, like. If my phone, if I check my phone and there's an email on there, it's like an earworm until I've read it, you know. I, I can't help it, you know. If I see something flash up that's like, oh, you've had a DM from such and such, I have a real hard time not looking at it instantly. And even if I'm in the middle of something else, you know. I, so may, maybe I have some kind of, like, like compulsive behaviour of such, you know, like, a, like an addiction type thing, you know. I don't know. I, 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 it, uh, it doesn't really affect me very much. I'm pretty sure there's nothing wrong with my thyroid, Rux. I've had quite a few blood tests for different things over my years. I'm pretty sure I've had my thyroid checked a few times, so don't think it is. But yeah, anyway, it's it's uh, the addiction side of things. It's it just sucks. But I'm very glad I'm not there now. It it took a long time to get 
get myself straight. It wasn't an instant thing, but uh, I think Daisy probably to say Daisy changed my life. And obviously, I'm a full time streamer, and that's because of Daisy. But also, it is the thing that got me interested in stuff that wasn't horse racing, both in terms of playing the game, but more so. Once I started doing YouTube, like when I started growing a few subscribers, I started focusing on that and like looking at how it went and how many subs I got this week compared to how many subs I got the week before and how people were liking the videos and like ratios and uh, how how I just got obsessed by that and it replaced my need to do anything else. Uh, did I manage to get in that bunker? Not today, Jamil. If you check my YouTube video yesterday, there's a video of me going in it, though, if you want to have a look. Conversations that enable people to be open with themselves and their challenges are a must. Diagnosis by TikTok, Instabook and Dr. Google drives me crackers. Keep talking and supporting we fella. People Head do ball. value and benefit Thank you. from it. The only thing I would say, I, I agree with you, but I think TikTok and social media has actually allowed a lot of people to uh, try and go and get diagnosis. They probably go like pre-armed thinking they, they want to tell whoever's going to diagnose them what they've got. But I know, for example, TikTok has, has massively helped with people diagnosing that they might have ADHD. You know, I think it really has. So as much as there are real downsides to it, I think a lot of people are only diagnosed with these things because of TikTok and others, you know. Thank you for the bits though, dude. Thank you. Well, that was good, wasn't it? Look at that. We got absolutely none of that potato. Maybe I should have used the other knife. Have I got any good stories from my gambling times? I don't really want to. Baby is born. I don't really want to make them sound exciting because uh, it, it making gambling, talking about the wins, you know. Here's a story. I got myself semi straight. Uh, I got myself semi straight, and I, then I I started gambling again, but I kept it smaller, and I ended up about four and a half thousand pounds in debt, and. I really fancied this horse called Hokai the New, which was a sprinter years ago. Hawkeye the New, it was called. And uh, I backed it and I put, it was something like, I can't remember the odds, but I put quite a lot on it. £300, something like that, £400. But it was enough so that when I won, I got my four grand back and I was back on the level. And so I, I bet on it and it won. And... When I got my money back, I, I was about four and a half thousand pounds down, and I ended up winning something about four thousand three hundred. So in my mind, I was two hundred pounds down overall. And I thought to myself, I'm two hundred pounds down. If I stop now, that's nothing. Who cares? But my stupid fucking gambler brain said, "But you've just won four thousand three hundred. You know, if you put a bit of money on another horse, you could maybe be several thousand pounds up, rather than two hundred pounds down." And then cut forward a year and I was £30,000 down, you know. <laughs> no, no way out. Maybe twenty-five. I don't know the exact number, but it's almost hard to work out how much was debt and interest and how much was the actual gambling. But I think I'd rather tell stories about that than actual wins. You know, I had some big wins, but uh, the reality is I lost, you know. If I wasn't under lost, I wouldn't have, wouldn't have had any money issues, would I? Every gambler, like we have people coming here sometimes, and I sometimes sort of mention it. I try not to, but no one has ever, as long as I've been streaming, has ever come in and said, I lost £500 yesterday on the horses, I'm really gutted. You know, I don't remember ever seeing that comment, ever. But the amount of people that will come in and say, I won £500 on the football betting the other day, you know, you only hear winners, you don't hear the losers, and trust me, most people lose, otherwise the bookies wouldn't exist, would they? Yeah, that's, that's the thing. I used to get crazy wins. You know? I did have some big wins, you know. But, uh... 
they all they all became losers in the end. Sometimes I could have a big win, and by the end of the day, I was still losing. You know, like I just had one a, a really big win, but I'd somehow lost by the end of the day. Valky, gambling with channel points is free. I, I don't really have a... If, if, like, I went to a work event back in the day and they had, like, one of those casino things with fake money and then you got to win prizes at the end, that's not gambling, right? Like, so, yeah, I, I, I don't see it as a, as a problem. Mac, I see what you're trying to do. Tamer, I, I think adver betting advertising should be changed a lot. I, I don't think it should be on the telly. I think I don't think incentives to join a bit like these kind of adverts for uh, like I don't know. If you deposit twenty dollars, you can play with fifty dollars, and that, that I think those kind of things should be banned. Like those kind of like introductory offers to try and get you to join. The, I I don't like those. I think they should be. I think they shouldn't be allowed. I think I'm not trying to get rid of gambling. And people know how to have a bet. If you want to, if you enjoy football and you want to go and have a bet, I'm not trying to stop that. But being like having it rammed down your throat. Like if you come and bet with us, we'll give you better odds and your money back if your horse loses by a neck and all that stuff. That stuff needs to go. I don't see the need for that. Exactly. It, it, it's a bit like... Gambling is obviously legal, so it's not the best analogy. But it's a little bit like a drug dealer giving you your first hit, and then once you've had it, and you're like, fucking hell, that's amazing, you're going to buy it thereafter, you know? like That's what they're doing with the introductory offers, always around big sporting events. Like, if there's a really big football game coming up, like the World Cup final, or like if it's like the Cheltenham Horse Racing Festival or something, the telly is awash with people are giving, like, we'll give you this, we'll give you that, come on, come on, come with us, come on, lose your money here, you know? Like, yeah, that, that kind of thing kind of sucks. It, I think it's completely fine that people can bet, and if you like foot, if you like football and you want to improve your viewing of football by having a bet, do it. You know, but those kind of things could do with the uh, fucking write off. Maybe you're an OB, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Obsessive, maybe. I do, but I think, I think a lot of people can be, you know, like... Like, I've always been the same, like, when I was fishing when I was a kid, I would get obsessed about getting a... Uh, a new rod or I really wanted to try a particular technique and I needed this certain tackle to do it or something and I'd be like I'm gonna try that I'm gonna try that it's gonna be great and then I'd, I'd go and make it happen and then I'd try it and that was that you know like I think a lot of people are like that. A, a, a lot of people a lot of people that have a hobby like golf and get obsessed about changing their golf balls or getting a different golf club or trying to find that little edge and they'll think about it a lot and all of that kind of things you know like a lot of people do that some people probably do it a bit too much, and I guess I, I'm probably one of those people. My biggest win, in terms of odds, it wasn't as much... I think I've had bigger winners in money, but 
I had a £15 bet and it paid 3700 or something. So for the amount of money I staked, it was my biggest win. But it was only £2.50 of that that actually paid it. It was a combination forecast. And the winner was 80 to 1 and the runner-up was 66 to 1 or something crazy like that. That The odds of it were uh, are just astounding. Uh, and I, uh, I also bet on Darren Clark to win the Open when he did it, like 230 to 1 or something like that. I, but I, I would have bet on about 10 golfers, you know, so that's not, it's not, it wasn't really 230 to 1, but it kind of was. Do I still watch poker tournaments? I ain't really interested in poker tournaments anymore. I like the playing, I really like playing poker. I could see me playing poker now, but like for fun, not really for money though, you know, but... Uh, I like the game, but I uh, I don't really like watching it so much because most of the people are on it. Are, some of them are funny, but they're all fucking dicks, aren't they? You know, they're all, it's like watching wrestling or something. Watching poker, the way they go, they carry on half the time anyway. Do I gamble on CS:GO? No. I bought a few CS:GO keys about six years ago, a few keys and a few cases, but not many. That's possibly the last form of gambling I did, but that was about six years ago. Uh, Colia Hawk, thank you very much for the Prime. Gizmo, thank you for the nine months. Head T Ball, thank you very much as well. <laughs> Fried some potatoes. Sounds good to if I need this or not, but I think I might take it. I think we're going to go on this, follow this road along this way. Network Chief, uh, when you get the ticket, you get on the plane, right? Uh, Colia Hawk and Sunny Sun, thank you very much for the prime subs once again, guys. Thank you. So what have we got here? We've got a bison with a mag. The M16 was decent. In fact, we can chamber the M16. What's the tissy of... Uh, well, that's the problem with it, BenQ. There isn't really one. Swarog military base, Nadbor town. Uh, Swarog is the most southerly biggest military base, but it's not that great. So one of the issues with Livonia is it doesn't have that kind of style of an area. Swarog is the biggest base down south, but it's only really probably about as big as Kamensk military base, really. Connor, I really am enjoying experimental. I very much prefer the... Uh, the uh, the inertia. I think the inertia is a big improvement for the game. Guys, I can't see the chat just for a little minute. Uh, the video's the video's doing quite well. It's it's still my best performing video. Yesterday's video, that is. It's still my best performing video in the last ten, but it's actually about to be overtaken. For it's going to slip into number two spot by the look of it. But. If you get a chance, guys, have a look at yesterday's video. If you've not seen it already, it's on Livonia Experimental, like exploring the bunkers. It's good. It's a good video. Pipper, I agree. Yeah, I agree. I think there's a reason why these companies try to associate with uh, with celebrities. 
like you say, it kind of normalises it. It makes it seem cool. It, it, I, I agree to some extent. I think th I think there's still responsibility for the individual, but individuals have responsibility. But so do big business. But clearly, big business is more about making money and not really giving a shit. That's the way it is. Amnesia, well, I think you probably uh, you probably earn it yourself. If you say to a mod, cry me a river, if you say cry me a river to a mod, you're getting a purge in pretty much every stream around. So uh, it's like trying to it's like trying to back chat the bouncers in a nightclub or something, you know? Like, don't do it. And having read some of your messages, I think you might want to take a look in the mirror, really. I don't know what your problem is, but... <clears throat> Just because something wasn't diagnosed 30 years ago, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. 200 years ago, they didn't really diagnose pretty much everything that we've got right now. That doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. That's just such a fatuous argument, you know. Like, go back to medieval times, you know. They they used to put leeches on you to try and cure you. The, if you had a headache, they'd drill the fucking top of your brain off, you know. Like, oh, you've got a headache. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to drill the top of your, your skull off, and then that'll release the pressure, and then you'll be okay. You know, it's such a stupid argument to say, well, nobody knew about it not long ago, you know. Uh, because times change, medicine changes, people's understanding of things change, and it improves all the time, and it's, it's backed by science. Just because your dad said when you were younger it was all made up, it doesn't make it so. They still use leeches for some things, but it's about all they did, you know. You'd go in with your egg, leg hanging off, we'll put some leeches on, that'll be okay. You know, they didn't have the meds we have now, do they, you know? It's such a, a, a weird thing to say, like when someone's saying, I, I, I've been diagnosed with this, you go, well, they didn't have that 30 years ago, it must not be true, you know? <laughs> Am I hoping for the bunker now? I, not really, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of trying to get looted and set myself up for going that way in the long term. Yeah, I guess so, but we're nowhere near ready right now. We're nowhere near ready. And here we see Billy Boar. He doesn't have any friends. Boars are often found in groups of three. But Billy's got no mates. There seems really only one possible solution for Billy. Billy won't like it. But our tummy will. <gasps> bye bye, Billy. Bye bye. <laughs> Right, let's go let's go and get Billy. <clears throat> there is a saying Billy no mates, right? What I really like about that is I called him Billy, but I didn't know I was gonna get to Billy No Mates. I love it when that I love it when a when a no plan comes together. I love that. I love it when no plan comes together. Because when I got to that part of the centre, I was like, oh fuck me, that works really well. <laughs> oh well. Sleep tight, Billy. Night night, Billy. <laughs> what can you use the skin for? You can make a ball bag. You can uh, you can you combine it with rope and you can make a bag, but I'd rather use my armchair bag, I think. Not a ball bag, it's it's a ball pelt, so you make a ball bag. Ball bag. Which also sounds like an insult. Well, oh, you fucking ball bag. Female healthcare in some ways right now is still atrocious, by the way. It, I, I, this, this, I don't really want to get on my soapbox too much, but my missus has had a lot of trouble with uh, like diagnosing things like fibroids and whatnot, and it's been, it's been a real challenge. But... The, the, the health service is set up to basically look at you and say, well, 
You're 37 and we could give you an operation, but if we just wait five or six years, you won't need one, so fuck off, you know. They, like, there's no way it would work that way if uh, if if men had the same issue. I don't think, and I know maybe that sounds like crazy, but I think it's true, you know. If it's women's problems, it gets chalked off as, oh well, it's only it's only for a few days a month. Just uh, just their problem, in it? It, it? It's really, uh, yeah, it, the, the health service is still not quite geared up the same as it could be. Batmax, thank you for the bits. That's really kind. Uh, has anyone else got a Twitch sweatshirt? It's actually very comfy. Uh, I haven't got... Well, uh, no, they sent me a few things, actually. I don't think I've got a Twitch sweatshirt. They sent me some cool stuff for once, actually. It was really nice. They, they sent me a... Uh, they sent me a, uh, a... A Twitch blanket, and they sent me a Twitch Connect 4, and then they sent me these other things. And then a, a, a f about six weeks later, they announced that they were changing the revenue splits for streamers that may or may not be affected, which I might be or might not be. You know, I, I wonder how they're paying for that Connect 4 exactly. <laughs> oh, you've got the blanket there. Yeah, GG to you. Look at that. Mrs. has just come in with the blanket. She's using it. I am no. often horrified that the 1913 Mental Deficiencies Act enabled the diagnosis of moral imbeciles. Whilst abolished, there are those moments when Thank one you. encounters individuals for whom such a derogatory label may be appropriate. Sigh. Head T Ball, thank you for the support, dude. Thank you. Yeah, I, I didn't get anal beads, by the way, to the person that asked. I didn't get any Twitch anal beads. I'll be turning 38 in uh, 38 in December. What do I have to look forward to? Not a lot, really. It's unless you go to the doctor. If he says how old are you, and he knows you're getting near 40, you might get the uh, you might get the uh, the uh, checking of the prostate. That could happen. At some point between the age of 38 and 42, you're getting a finger up your bum. It's just a fact. Twitch chat controlled anal beads. Yeah, if you tip 50 bucks, you can make me vibrate. <laughs> oh, dear. Send me over the edge. Tip 6666 to put the devil inside me. <laughs> Holy hell. That Now that's an interactive stream. Why haven't they done that? I'm sure that when I say they, I mean just random streamers of Twitch. I'm not talking about any select group in, at all, right? But... That now that that's uh, that's an interactive stream and a half, right? I think we're somewhere near Muratin, you know. I, I, I've kind of not really been paying attention to where we're going. I don't really know where we are. I have not been 38 for nine years, microphone. That is a lie. I can confirm without a shadow of a doubt on my on my kids' lives that I am not 47, young man. Finger, last physical, my doctor checked my prostate and said, look, no hands. Nappy, yeah, that, that, that doesn't sound good. And I agree, I agree, by the way, the courtesy wipe first degree. I have talked about that. It's, it's very unexpected. You just weren't expecting it. And it's just like, oh, that that was worse. That was, at, I agree. I, I, I have talked a bit about that on stream. I'm sure everyone wants to hear it again. But that the, uh, like... Well, I've just done that, so I better I better do that. Dirty, Ooh. dirty boy. Here are some bits now. When are you gonna stick that thing up the bum bum capper? <laughs> uh, oh, well, I, I think I'm reporting people to Twitch. This is just vulgarity. I don't know where it's coming from. <laughs> Village idiot. Thank you for the support, dude. Dirty, dirty boy. I don't know. You wanna have a look in the mirror yourself? Right, this is Muratin. We are not equipped with the gear you really need to be a Muratin, really. Med pack. No, it's, it, checking the prostate, uh, checking it to see if your prostate is inflamed is a very good thing to do, you know? Like, like 
I, you're right. I normally, by the way, like when I when I had my prostate checked, I still had a blood test to check my PSA as well. But it is a really good thing to do, you know. Like, say you go for a blood test and the results are three weeks, but if he could check your blood or she could check your prostate that day, and it turned out your plus for your prostate was the size of a fucking grapefruit, you know, they'd probably want you looked at right now. You know, it, it, it's a lot quicker. You know, like. Getting a full spectral analysis on blood tests might work great, but if you can see the problem right there and then, then maybe that might save your life, you know? I guess that's probably why they do it, you know? Same with everything else, you know? You can do everything great with tests and things that take a while to come back, but if you can actually manually check right now for something serious, that's what doctors are for, isn't it? That's kind of cool. actually didn't remember I'd got the mag. And he stops. He stops. I talked in game then as well, but he stops just as I fire. Fucking juking bastard zombie. It's an M16 day. Is this server modded? Bambo, I'm on experimental, so it's vanilla, properly vanilla. Like, properly vanilla, but it's 119 experimental, so it's the new experimental patch. I feel like gloves get damaged a bit too quick when you're punching zombies. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't like Daisy as much as... Like, it's, it's a survival game feature in a way, but your gloves getting damaged really quick when you're punching, like, soft, fleshy zombies' faces. I don't know. I, I don't know. It don't make no fucking sense. Came here for my favourite streamer, not, cross, not prostate conversations. That's your first time chatting. I don't know. I might, I might uh, see your favourite stream and com comment and raise you. I've been here fucking seven years. Where have you been? <laughs> That's what I'd say for your favourite streamer. <laughs> I appreciate you coming in, by the way. I very much do appreciate new viewers, but. If you were a regular, you know we talk about all sorts of random shit here, you know, that's kind of the point of the stream, random, random shittery, Ran random shittaki, isn't that a mushroom, shittaki? Yeah, random, random shittery, not bullshittery, that, that's uh, owned by Soviet Womble, random shittery. You're not here for the prostate conversation splits, you're here for the prostate, young man. <laughs> I have seen the chat. It's, it is random as fuck, but my fuck is it quick as well. I, I can read that. Have you not seen the chat random as fuck? But anything much longer than that, I can barely fucking read before it's off the screen at the moment. Rock and Ink. Well, thank you for checking out the vids. I appreciate it. And, and the streams now as well. That's cool. And obviously I'm very, very grateful of... Uh, of viewers, by the way, and new viewers, I try and make a point of reading out people's first messages when I see them as, like, as a priority, you know, but, I don't know, when people are trying to say that they, they're not so keen on the subject and I'm their favourite streamer, oh, that needs a call out. <laughs> first time chat. <laughs> Official psych. Well, I've, 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 I've definitely read your name since. Probably when you subbed, though, so apologies if that's the case. But I've read that one. The, the prostate man's. I'm so high. Oh, blimey. I'm not high. Who am 
like I've been finding less loot on the roofs on this patch. I don't know if I'm right on that or not, but I feel like we've been fi finding less. <laughs> Dr. Smuktapus. Well, I guess that's good. We can maybe fix these shit gloves. With the power of invisible mending, you know, we're going to use this duct tape to fix these gloves and you won't see any duct tape at all. Like, strictly speaking, my hand should look like Earl the Pearl Strickland's hand with all duct tape wrapped around his fingers when he's not playing very well and he's trying to find some weird reason to get better. That's a very uh, niche market reference for Earl the Pearl Strickland there, but he has duct tape around his fingers sometimes. Each of his fingers looks like an improvised First suppressor. First Manscaped commercial and next to PSA on the importance of prostate checks. Is see a trend here. Nappy, uh, a Manscaped commercial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, haven't, I still haven't had that. Please, thank you for the support, dude. Uh, Cousin, I personally prefer Intel, but I believe spec-wise the AMD ones are probably ahead of ahead of Intel at the moment, to be honest. But uh, And where should you have a look for a PC? Exclamation PC. Check out PC Specialist, dude. Thank you. Fun time, Fronto. Reckless Reed, thanks for the low blow. Thank you. Pristine. I presume the mag is not pristine, or the bullets are not, because how the fuck does a pristine gun jam exactly? That don't make no fucking sense. Sardines. I do need to cook this food, but I don't really want to do it here, I don't think. I'm going to loot this house while we're here, then. Uh, Connor, at, at least it's not Octopus Spunk and Prostate's getting mentioned at the same time. Well, yeah, I guess so. Bright blue. Bright blue. Uh, I'm not sure it'd have much benefit, though. Maybe. Uh, Connor, dude, thank you very much. Nappy, and thank you again to you, Connor. M16 kind of day, yeah. Losing M16's kind of day, I guess, but... Dangers of Christmas trees, Hyper Pro, eh? If you're going to tell me in a minute you don't like Christmas, you and me, we're through. You know, you don't like roast, you don't like Christmas, what next? <laughs> Favourite gun to use, modded and vanilla? Uh, I'm starting to think my favourite gun is still the Blaze, even though they kind of nerfed it some. I still think my favourite gun's the Blaze, but I don't use it all the time. I'm very often keen to use a Mosin or a Tundra. I don't really mind, but... Uh, I like. I very much like the Org X with a suppressor as well. I think that's a beast. It's not a very good gun, really. It's kind of good, but the Pioneer with a suppressor is a lot of fun as well. But if I had to pick one gun, I'd say the Blaze. It's kind of the most important gun for me through the time I've been playing Daisy. They have nerfed it a little bit, but you've still got the double shot. It's still good. <laughs> For fuck's sake, I'm struggling with this. Really ain't finding much loot up here. Like I was, like I was saying, that the loot is normally better. Oh. Favourite sandwich of all time. I bought it from uh, I bought it from a train station, which seems unlikely. What's the big blue one? Per 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 Pelling Wellington Paddington. Blue. It's blue. Vic no, it might have been Victoria actually. It might have been Victoria. It was light blue. Where do you go to get? Where do you go to get? Go to France on the Eurostar. What station is that? 
This really matters to the story, obviously. St. Pancreas, that's exactly what it is. I'm pretty sure that's light blue, or blue, I can't remember, but it was St. Pancreas I was at, I think. I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, anyway, it was it was one of those little stalls that they, they were selling they were selling sangers, and they had they had a baguette, right? and it was it was pulled pork or like roast pork. It wasn't really pulled; it was proper roast pork, roast pork with stuffing and a little bit of maybe cabbage or something, but roast pork with stuffing, uh, apple sauce, and then little tiny crispy bits of pork pork belly, not pork belly of uh, pork pork skin, like scratching pork scratching. Oh my god! It was the it was the for, it was about four pound in London. That's cheap, and it was from a train sent a train station sandwich store. But it was fucking orgasmic. It was the the best thing I've ever put in my mouth, and no mistake. Yeah, it was roasted. It wasn't pulled pork. It was proper roast pork. It was so good. See, how, see him, he looked right eager as he came over, didn't he? Bastard moved. What the fucking stack of wood scared me. I thought someone was looking in at me. When at 11,000 hours, Daisy Streamer gets afraid of wood. Nearly did it again. It was really good. Someone's looted this recently, to be honest. Hyper Pro, I can relate, dude. I can relate. It's almost like an allergy. Guy. Uh, your mum is mine. Your mum is mine. Thank you. Cheers for the support. We appreciate it, man. Thank you. I'm kind of looking forward to playing Chernerus, uh, Chernerus 119, to be fair, Reaver. Right? I am really enjoying Livonia, but I feel like I've explored all the new stuff now. You know, I've kind of, like, I've kind of done too much stuff in Livonia, I'd say. Myself some epic, uh, epic cover. What? I, I appear to have it stuck upon my person. That's a new one on me. I don't know what caused that, but it landed on the ground and then it it reverted back to being uh, like I don't know, suppository style or something. Uh, 
I guess I better relog then, really. Well, I think it's bugged. It's not really on me. There's no smoke coming from me. I think the smoke is inside me. I'm being careful to say the smoke. Because if I say it, say it without the the word, that's getting clipped and sent, in, sent to smoke, isn't it? I, I've got to be careful there. I ain't saying those words, but without the the. The 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 is important there. Otherwise, I'm... Uh, it will burn out. I don't think it will, actually, because uh, I think it's mega bugged. I think we've got to log out and log in. I think it's mega bugged. That's what I think. Sat watching the stream with my girlfriend and she wanted to ask if you prefer modded or unmodded. Walker toe. Well, get her to type. I'll tell her. <laughs> uh, I think the kind of modded servers that I play are really the same as uh, lightly modded. So, sorry, are really the same as vanilla. So, if you're playing on day one or zero or some of the others, they're, they're so much the same as vanilla that the difference is really more the map and a few cosmetic things, so I don't really see them as being any different. I had someone mithering about how I was like, uh, how I'd said, I, I, I'd only ever make videos, or I really wanted to make videos on Vanilla vanilla Day Z, and, and my recent video was about, on Iztec, but it was still, it, it, to me, although Iztec the map is modded and there's some cool things in it, the, the, the type of game I'm playing is still basically the same as Vanilla. There is stamina, there is no trader bases. Uh, you have to deal with the zombies. You can't just infinitely run away. The gun, there's not guns every five paces, you know. Like, I think lightly modded servers, like Zero, for example, are not really any different to vanilla in terms of the way they play. Obviously, if they're on modded maps, then the mod's different, but the actual... Uh, like, the map changes the canvas, but you're still using the same tools, you know. You've still got the same Bob Ross-style uh, palette, and you've got your, uh, I don't know, Lizard and Crim Crimson and shit, you know. The palette doesn't change very much, the canvas does, you know, but I think that's kind of cool. The modded maps, the biggest thing that I like about modding, personally, is the modded maps. They're, they've made m the biggest difference for me in the game. Rendex, thank you for finding the YouTubes, I, I appreciate it, dude, thank you. <coughs> On to more positive note. Somebody, I, I read a YouTube comment this morning that said, you're the Bob Ross of Daisy. <laughs> I thought, that I'll take that. That's fucking brilliant. That's the best compliment I've ever had. I like that one. <laughs> I don't think Bob Ross used to swear quite like I do. I bet if he went to one of his painting conventions and someone said something he didn't like, he'd go, Fuck off then! <laughs> if you don't like it, fuck off! <laughs> I don't think Bob would have done that, but... Uh, I, I don't know, he was a drill instructor. He was probably more than capable of it, but I don't think he will have done it. Happy effing trees, yeah. <laughs> Happy effing accident. <laughs> we don't have accents here. We have happy fucking accidents. <laughs> I ought to paint, not paint. I ought to cook this meats that we've got. Ah, fuck the tire repair kit. What can we find here that we want? Probably a knife or something, maybe. I suppose it's worth looking a little bit. I'm not going to worry about checking every single building. I can't be asked, but we'll check the ones that we're near. Worst loot ever. Don't forget to smack your, br your brush vigorously. You have to beat the devil out of it. That's the best part. Maybe I should start giving Bob Ross answers when people start telling me I shouldn't KOS. I'd be like, don't forget that when you play Daisy, this is your world. You can do anything you want, you know? If you want to be friendly, you can do that. This is your world, you know? You've got the freedom in this place. You, you might have a missus at home that tells you what to do, but in Daisy, it's your world, you know? If you want to rob somebody blind and then beat them to death with a carp, you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> this is your world. Right, 
come on in. Let's. Uh, I need to sort my inventrix out some as well. Really, we're a bit, we're a bit all over the shop here, aren't we? I should have got the bones from that pig. I should have got Billy's bones. I really didn't think about that. Billy's bones would have been would have been quite useful right now because I'm I'm potentially going to run out of knives. I suppose we've got the badly damaged machete. Ah, oh, fuck the chicken. I can't be asked. Let's just go here. Can't be asked, splits. Asked. It's a UK saying. You may or may not know. They can't be asked. Is in as in like A R S E D. Uh, can't be asked. Is in I'm too lazy. I can't be bothered. It's a. It's a definitely a, a UKism. It may be used elsewhere as well. What are you doing here? What are you doing to me? Go where you fucking told to go. Blue, NBC protector cases are on zero servers. Mega bugging fucking shit left and right now. Uh, I could cook with this, but it's badly damaged. I don't know if I really want to. I think I might. I might just speed it up. I'm not entirely sure it really is that much quicker, but let's just do it anyway. There's zombies outside, dude. I don't think there's anything else. To the person saying footsteps. doing it. No, that one. No, we're okay. Look at this, we're, uh, we're, we're drying the shit out of it. I done goofed. I don't think this is a great deal quicker. I think it's just better to cook it as I was doing. I mean, it's slightly better in that the meat won't lose much, any of its value because I'm cooking it with the fat, but it's just so slow. I don't think it's quick at all. I, don't, I think it's quicker to just cook it on the grill. I know what smoking does. I just don't... Well, you might be answering someone else, Buckle, but I don't want to smoke it. Red temperature. Cheers, I'm Pip. Take it easy. Thanks for coming in. <coughs> I 
I think we're just going to use this one until it gets ruined for now. So, Jimmy, the only reason to smoke food is if you've got a base and Another you're trying to do it for later, death. you know. If you want to keep the food and eat it tomorrow, then smoking makes a lot of sense. But otherwise, if, you if you're cooking it to eat on your character in the next couple of hours, you always should bake it, because baking's going to give you the most calories. It's going to give you the, the, the most energy from it, and that's what you're cooking it for you. And it also, it gives you a, a little bit of hydration as well. So, it'll give you a little bit of hydration. It'll give you the best energy. So, you should always bake the food. Only if you wanted to eat it like tomorrow and leave it in a tent might you might you dry it. Baked food does last a while, but it doesn't last long enough for like leaving it in a base and having it tomorrow or something, you know. Food lasts longer in a tent than it does in your inventory as well, so that's something else as well. So food in your backpack degrades quicker than food in a tent for in a base, for example. that keen to loot too much in this town but there is a uh, there is a hunting shop next to the well in the main part of the town I think we're just gonna head to that we're absolutely fine for food now so we're good for a good while this is a weird loot route I've been finding myself doing this quite often lately but it gets me on the main road from Topol into uh, Palana and on that road is there's a few places where you can get the punch card which is kind of the point I'd, I'd like to try and get a punch card to go in the underground area so I've kind of come this way specifically for that Check in the odd house. There might be a there might be a half decent gun if we're really lucky. We're not going to find any any mags for the guns we've got around here. No bison and M16 mags going to spawn around here. But well, a few more bullets for the crappy bison, I suppose. But oh, there's a fairground right here as well. That I didn't know. It was going to last long. Went away. The speed at which my gloves are getting degraded by punching is just—I think it's just stupid. I, I, I maybe maybe I'm wrong, but like I, I'm not punching that many zombies, and I'm having to repair the gloves. I've they were already I've already had to repair them to to warm. And now they're back to damaged again. I don't really see the point. I, mean, I guess you can soon get other gloves, but maybe I you, you're kind of meant to try and find something else to kill the zombies with. But I just think it's just like. Not, not that interesting. I really like that when you find gloves, they might be damaged and you've got a chance to find others. But if you get worn gloves and then you punch one zombie and they're damaged, I just think it's like like bordering on punitive for punitive's sake, really. You can enter. You, you can't do the entire bunker solo, Weary. I know you can't. You can only do level three if there's somebody else there. You've got to raise the water up. So there's there's two little uh, dials, and the red dial raises the water up to a higher level than like the base level. So while someone's... Oh, I, do you know what? I nearly even said the word Mosin, and sure enough, there there she blows. I very nearly said the word Mosin as the gun we might found, find here. It is a mosin -y kind of place. Just far enough away from where you spawn for there to be... for there to potentially be one. This summer camp's bang it been a bag of shit, hasn't it? 
Right, let's get this filled. I haven't really drank at a well yet, I don't think. We've had a few things to eat and whatnot, but... A well, a well fill up would be pretty useful right now, I'd say. What changes when the gloves are ruined? Well, on the mouse, they won't give you any frost protection. Uh, they won't give you any warmth on any server like this one, so they don't keep you as warm. I think they do still protect you from getting bloody hands if you cut up an animal. Uh, I don't know. I think they probably do still protect you if you slide down a ladder, but I don't know. Like, Gloves have a few benefits, but certainly even ruined gloves, I think they stop you getting your hands bloody if you cut up an animal. That, that definitely does, does work. So cool. Closing. Oh, fuck off! That is going to take some getting used to. The fair can spawn hunting stuff. The fairs on Chernerus can spawn hunting stuff as well, so you can find scopes, and as you've just seen there, mosing rounds, a weapon cleaning kit. You can get good stuff at the fairs. Well, it's weird, Nate. I think it doesn't default to empty... I don't think it defaults to drink. Oh, maybe it does. Let's just put it away and see what it says. Yeah, defaults to empty first. Yeah, I agree. It, it's it's frustrating. While you're on the feedback track of doing that, why don't you feedback that it makes no sense that the I, the Mosins and the SKSs default to iron sights when they've got a fucking PU scope on them? That's been annoying me for years. <laughs> like, like, when you've got a PU scope on an SKS, you want to use the SKS scope with... You want to use the P PU, right? And then maybe you might want to revert to irons. I hate the fact that it 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 sets it to uh, iron sights, and then you have to like mouse wheel up to go to the. I, that really winds me up. It probably shouldn't, but it really does. It really winds me up. It might be good, so you don't drink shit. You mean you don't mean to? You might be right. I don't know. I think you more often than not want to drink from a cooking pot than you do want to empty it, though, you know. That'd make a good thumbnail. Fireworks in the background. Zombie attacking me in the foreground. Very good. Beautiful. It's going a while, isn't it? I think they're a really good thing for aggroing Zeds. They, they really aggro the Zeds from a long way away. It's Happy very, very cool. Happy 17th anniversary. Fireworks as well. Pasty, thank you very much. I hope you're well. Thank you for the support. Dude, Damage123, thank you for the three months as well, dude. Thank you. Uh, Heisen, thank you for the 20 months. Corner, Co Connor McCune, thank you for the bits. Next person I see, I have to be the evil man. Oh, I don't know. I'll try. Uh... IB2, two, IB2 urinating. Thank you for the bits, dude. Uh, loving the, the goggles, my son. Uh, dude, thank you. Uh, Leonardo, Rendex, thanks before that as well. Right, I think we're going to head this way. So there's a couple of uh, summer camp sheds right in the middle of the screen over, the, over yonder there. If we head towards those, we might get really lucky on a poo scope. Pete, thank you so much for the two months, dude. Thank you. What is that there? It's time to start running! Dead Aminal. Uh, 
Where is it gone? Alright, fuck that, I'm not carrying it. I can still hear cows in the area. That might have been killed relatively recently. I bet, actually, if we go near the... Uh Uh, do you know what? I can't be asked. I can't be bothered. If if we go near the road, I bet there might have been a house with some smoke at it, potentially. You know, there could have been a... Uh, there could have been a dude, but never mind. Dude, yeah, we're on. To t we're done ten hours, have we? I've really enjoyed today, actually. I have. It was a tough start on the mouse, but it was a decent ending, you know? And the mouse was cool in the long run, but... It took a little bit of getting going, but uh, Burnside was the was the win. Garrett, I'm tired of you. Yeah, not everyone else is fine, just you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Uh, Razor, watching the stream is getting you excited for Day Z later. Blimey. 17 months, let's go. Yeah, no need to apologise, I was kind of asking for it. You know it. <laughs> So one thing that's definitely changed about the dynamic of the map, I think, let's just drop loot, is that I would never have done this loot route in a million years in the past. Never in a million years would I have gone this way. But I am going this way because of uh, because of the way that the map's changed with uh, Palana and then more so the tunnels down south. It kind of has started pushing me this way. And it's made... Uh, that. Oh. I'm tying myself up. That's kind of good that it's it's making you think about your loot route and changing what you do because when you get extra things in the map and it makes you want to go a certain way and it, having different options and different choices and, and wanting to go different ways definitely enriches the map. And this loot route is one that I've done now that I would never have done this in a million years were it not for the fact that the, the tunnels are in the south, uh, the new bunkers in the southwest and I need to go down from Topolin in order to have myself a chance of... Uh, of getting the uh, punch card. I think it's kind of cool, though. <clears throat> Why not take the hunting jacket? Uh, to be honest, I, uh, I've i got this one, and I'm wearing, I've got matches, and that's why I've not took it. I've got matches, and this obviously keeps the matches dry, and I'd just rather just keep it. I'm not cold. We're on Livonia, of course, so... Uh, I just feel like it's doing the, doing its job. Let's keep that in there. That save a bit of space. I don't really need both, do I? Oh, Livonia needs a lot more to it yet, but if they can do patches of this kind of ilk for the next... Let's assume that Daisy's getting developed next year. I really think it will do. I hope it does. Uh, a couple of years back, I was unsure. Like, two years ago now, I was a bit wary as to whether Daisy was going to get any more development or not, but... They've been advertising for jobs in the last few months, so there's no way they're not going to take people on for Daisy and then sack them all at Christmas. You know, maybe they might. I hope not. So I think Daisy's going to see development next year. So hopefully they'll that through the course of next year there'll be lots of incremental updates to Livonia. Maybe there might even be another new map. You never know. Anything worth going north for? Weary, I you kind of spawn in the north third of the map, north quarter of the map. There's not a great deal of incentive to go further north, to be honest. No. Hi Vipertron, hope you're good. Vipertron, hope you're good. Thank you for coming in. Uh, Death to Bambies. I think they would be... Uh, I think keeping a small team, keeping the game ticking over is going to make them consistent revenue, isn't it? You know, So it's not a bad thing. They're still making money on the game. Probably not highly profitable, but there's still a lot of people playing it, you know? I think there's something... There's value in people still playing DayZ, even if it's not turning them that much of a profit. They need people interested in Bohemia games, you know, like Armour 4, they need people to be interested in that. Armour Reforger isn't, it do isn't doing it at the moment. Nobody's playing Armour Reforger, you know. The players that are going to come back and buy Armour 4 are going to come from Armour 3, maybe DayZ and so on, you know. Like, Reforger sold a lot of copies and had a load of interest, but it's not really done the, done the deed, as it were. So, I think DayZ is probably still important to Bohemia because it's the game they've got that people are actually playing regularly. You know, much more people are playing this than Armour right now, I believe. Uh, so it's probably more important to them than it has been in the past, I suppose, in a way. 
Certainly in the days when only 1900 people were playing it concurrently, it was probably not quite so important then. Will Snow, I don't know. I, I don't. It's kind of dumb to do that. It just gets me stream sniped, obviously, if I do. So I don't tend to. Beard Masher, Jackie Boy, Spudder. Thank you for the resubs, all of you guys. Thank you. Cows, it cross-platform. Between consoles would work, but I don't think it would work any other way. Uh, it comes up quite a bit, but just the inventory management, never mind anything else. Daisy is so taxing on the inventory management, and drag and dropping with a mouse is so much easier. Uh, hot bars, hot bars usage with the numbers 1 to 6 or 1 to 9 or whatever, you know. Using the hot bar and using the inventory is such a big advantage in, like, like if, if you're me, I, I'm slow at looting times because I'm, I'm too busy trying to get every single thing, but... You can do things so much quicker. Like I can kill a player, grab his gun, grab his bullets, and turn around and kill another one, and it's a lot easier to do than it would be on console, you know. A console inventory works against other console players, but it would be issues against PC. And that's without other things involved as well, such as, uh, like, it's a slow-paced game, and maybe mouse and keyboard is quite useful. You can play mouse and keyboard on console now, I guess, but... I didn't floppy Dave. No, that was just like a one-off thing. But yeah, floppy, thanks for checking out the vid, by the way, dude. I might have to go for another piss in a minute. I'm, I'm kind of a little bit, uh, Hi. Little feeling like I'm getting a little bit on the edge there. It's a hunting zombie, it could have something vaguely useful in it. <laughs> a hunting knife would be nice. <laughs> Every time I come to that uh, summer camp shit, I think of Kitty from the... Uh, from the video of, of about three or four months back, because uh, that's where she uh, she said some revelations and also said that she might kill me later, and then she fucking did. <laughs> a band of brothers. Honestly, I'm not really au fait with the specs at, at the moment. Like in terms of what's the best value and what's the best build for 2K, I'm not really uh, I'm not really that like up on it to be able to offer a solid opinion. Uh, I am going to plug my sponsor though, like if you go to PC Specialist website and just use the PC Builder, uh, like set up a PC and have a play around with it, move things around, it does work really intuitively. Other sites have got similar things, but the PC Specialist one is very intuitive, so I have, you don't have to buy from them, but what I'm saying to you is build a PC and have a play around with the parts and sort of cost it out and have a little bit of a play. They, they work really well, you know. If you try and combine the wrong CPU with the wrong motherboard, it'll just stop you from... Uh, It'll tell you, it won't let you do it, so you can't get it, the build wrong if you like, you know. WRC, fuck me dead, the gawkies are on me, chimpkin, no server name, get out of my chat, I love watches, PC specialist. <laughs> WRC, shut up, shut up and get out of, get out of my stream. <laughs> Thank you for the tip, WRC dude, thank you. Right, I'm going to try and bypass this, I don't really want in there. <coughs> I'm very pleased with the Mosin. We actually have slightly better gear now than we did when we died. Obviously we've not got mags and things like that. Uh, but if I can get some, some mags and stuff, and maybe a PU scope from somewhere, we're, we're going to be looking pretty good. I definitely need some more 556 five, bullets and a, and a mag, but... Sub record. Uh, I don't think it is. Exclamation something. I, we're very close to the sub record, but yeah, it was only Thursday though, so uh, I think we're around what the sub record is, but I honestly don't know for sure. 
can't remember what the is it top or something? I can't remember what the command is. I don't think that's an unpopular opinion, uh, Rendex. I'm not going to read it out because I don't want to have the debate, but I think it's a very prudent thing to do. Top. Is that it? Was it top? 7267. Oh, okay. seen a few round, but I don't really want to deal with them. The logo has not changed strategically. I'm still using the same logo I've always had. Well, not quite always had, but most of the time. Oh. You got me with a solid one there, little fucker. I hope not an exclusive. On that subject, actually, there is absolutely no reason to gift subs to get me to the record. I hit the record on Thursday, right? I'm not chasing records every day like that. Like where where we're at right now is absolutely insane. And and if we tickle up there with Twitch Primes or whatever, great. But we hit the record on Thursday. I don't need to break it every day now from from now until ever. You know, it's fine. We're doing great. And then, sure enough, Batmax does it, but maybe I got that too late. Batmax, I am very, very grateful, nonetheless, to <laughs> I am, but yeah. Uh, Batmax, thank you very much for the gifted subs. You're very, very kind of you. Thank you. <coughs> Cheers for the support, Batmax, man. Thank you very much. Dude, if you're, a, if you're a student, by the way, dude... You were talking about uh, going to college. I'm sure you were the other day, right? You were you were you were going back to, to doing some book learning, right? Mind how you go with the tipping and the gifted subs and stuff, dude. I, I, forgive me for trying to tell you what to do with your money and everything, and it benefits me. But if you're going to be a student soon, don't don't piss your money away on streamers, okay? Be a bit careful. I'm very very grateful, Batmax, but don't go mad, you know. Nate, dude, thank you for the gifted sub to Shroud, no less. I'm, he'll, he'll be in here. He'll be in here. Uh, he'll be in here watching soon enough, I'm sure. I mean, Shroud, Shroud, I'm sure is a regular viewer. Why would he not be? You know, I, he, he probably tunes in here to learn how to aim. You know, like I'd have thought. You know, learn how to get that mechanical aim. That's that's probably. If I was Shroud, I'd come here to work out how to aim. Like, if I was 150. <laughs> if I was Shroud, I'd come here to work out how his aim's going to be when he's uh, when he's like needs his eyes correcting, and he's actually like 85, and also he's like I don't know, broken his arm. Then it might give him an idea of how his aim might look. Uh, Jan, thank you very very much for the gifted subs. That's really really kind. Egg salad, thank you very very much as well. It's one of the mods, uh, one of the mods. Uh, pointed out to me that uh, uh, that Andy Milinakis or something was actually watching my stream a good while ago but he was he was watching the stream a good while ago he's kind of like fairly well known from things from things and stuff I, I don't really know who he is, but he's from America land, and unless he's like uh, George Clooney, this, this, I'm not saying this to put put the dude down. By the way, I, I like lo like people from America won't know who uh, I don't know Jamie Thixton is, for example. You know, just a random sort of someone that's offered the telly or whatever. But stealing money from students truly an evil man. Give me your dinner money. Give me your dinner money, Nick Bean, or you're not coming back tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, don't clip that. It's fine, actually. I think it's okay. I just played along with the joke. Nick Bean, thank you very much for the support, dude. Do 
Do my children watch my content? No, they don't. They don't watch. They don't watch the streams. I don't think so. Maybe one day they will, but it seems very, very unlikely. Right, I made the mistake before of going in the town and not coming this way first. Because this is where the... Uh, just around this corner. I think we'd see it by now, but... This is where the military convoy would spawn. I think I'm going to swerve that town. I can't really be fucked with that. I think we're just going to carry on this way. No military convoy. Thank you very much for the nine months. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you. What's that? A bean man's Twitch baby. Could you imagine having this kind of look into your parents' youth? I, I, I think the reality is, Sinko, that kids listening to this would just go, oh, you're so fucking... Well, they wouldn't say it like that, but you're so cringe, you know. Uh... You're so cringe, and or whatever they say, whatever the youth of today say with their with their lingo and their and their uh, their youth words. <laughs> My kids are always saying scammed. Oh, you've been scammed! Like they say that all the time, as well as talking like someone from uh, I don't know, a legally blonde. They, they all sound American. Yeah, well, well, my 13-year-old likes TikTok a lot. My 10-year-old can't have it on her phone just yet, because I won't let her. Uh, but they, they're both into stuff like that. I think Maggie, my 10-year-old, would make an amazing Twitch streamer. She is very, very funny. I think she is, anyway. Uh, but uh, not that I, I wouldn't discourage her from trying it, but I'd certainly discourage her from putting all her eggs into it. I can't watch TikTok. Uh, I, I don't like TikTok. I can't handle the music. I don't know whatever the songs are right now, but when my missus watches TikTok, it, she seems to have got slightly different taste now, but the fucking songs, like, I don't know, six months ago, like, from the other room, all I ever heard was... I, I fucking hate that. The, the, the songs, it... TikTok is like an echo chamber for bullshit. It... It's like one person makes a video that's vaguely funny and then everybody copies it, you know? It's like it's like a clone of 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 an idea. That's what TikTok is, you know? Somebody did something that was kind of funny and then everybody else copies it until everyone's so fed up of the echoing of that copy that they move on to something else. I just... I, I think it's just because I'm too fucking old, really, but I don't like it. I, it's it's really cool in some ways, though. You know, like that dude that did the sea shanty thing, you know, there once was a ship that should have fucked off. Uh, that that one, you know, like he's probably made decent money out of that. He's probably he's probably sold some songs and got it on like iTunes or whatever, and he's probably made money that he wouldn't have made any other way, and that's really kind of cool, but. Then you get everyone else coming on doing it and like doing a dance to it and then doing their own seizure. Oh. I can see the appeal, but it's not for me. Not ever sober. I'm not disagreeing with what you're saying, but the way you're saying it, we, we, we don't use that kind of description here, dude. So no drama, by the way, but... Yeah, if you check the rules, you'll see that. But it's, it's all good, dude. Don't, there's no 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 worries, dude. You, it just... Yeah, read the rules. But yeah, the... Uh, I think it, it's the way it goes, you know? That's the way that's the way media is. It does make me wonder what will happen with Twitch and... I think YouTube is different, because YouTube is a search engine. But every generation finds something different, you know, than the last. Whether it be music or whether it... Like, like 
people, Twitch and game streaming is really popular right now and it's still growing and gaming is growing and I'm sure it will continue to do so. So maybe get streaming it will do too, you know, but uh, it does make me wonder, like Twitch right now, obviously there's, there's some dramas and whatnot, but the next generation, like my kids don't really want to watch Twitch. They, they don't, they're not interested in it in the slightest. I'm sure other kids are, but normally every generation finds something different than the last. So maybe they won't come to Twitch. Maybe they'll go elsewhere, you know, like... Like, websites have a shelf life. Things like TikTok, it's popular now, but sooner or later it'll get usurped with something else, you know. <coughs> Bernadette, I've not seen any of House of Dragon yet. I, I, I've not seen any of it at all. I, I, uh, I've only just finished The Sopranos. Uh... I didn't start it like 20 years ago. I've been watching it this year. I've just finished The Sopranos and I've started watching Andor next. I really like Andor though. Andor's great. I think it's much better than uh, much better than I was expecting. I was very much like, meh, what's the point? You know, I wasn't that bothered about the character, but so far I've really quite liked it. Watch Game of Thrones first is all. I thought that the uh, I thought the new one, the House of uh, Flying Dragons or whatever it's called, I thought the new one was uh, a prequel. Now please watch The Wire. Well, I can't yet because I've got to finish. Uh, I've got to finish Andor. A lot of people have been recommending The Wire, and it does, I think I may well give it a look, you know. It's, it's, it certainly seems appealing, but... It is a prequel, but Game of Thrones gets you introduced to the world, okay. I should watch Game of Thrones first so I understand the concept of the throne. Okay. It's not just that you sit on it and then everyone tries to kill you until they take it. And it's not, that's what I would expect it to be. Uh, I don't know how bits work. This is my first time using them. Dude, thank you very much. Walker Turtle. Uh, cheers for the bits. That's really kind. And Mayonnaise Waiter. We've had a sub to Shroud. Now we've got Lyric as well. Holy shit. Uh, thank you very much for gifting Lyric the sub. I'm sure Lyric comes in here to, 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 to look at not how to play Daisy. Back in the day, a long time ago, I used to love like Ly Natural when Lyric was less than a thousand $5. viewers. Hope the best for you. I, I used to love Lyric when he played Daisy. He was fucking hilarious. He still is hilarious, but I, I don't really find myself watching many streams because I'm streaming myself or I'm not on the platform as a rule. But Lyric was great on Daisy back in the day, 2014-15. He was fucking brilliant. He still is, but uh, like he, that was like one of my introductions to Daisy on Twitch was watching Lyric and some others. Uh, I definitely understand the, the Spongebob story because I've seen Breaking Bad, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember watching him on, uh, like, Altis Life and stuff, Uncle Food. I remember that as well. He was good. He's a funny dude. Uh, Najwa Bishi, thank you very much for the tip. I hope the best for you. Thank you. Cheers for the support. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Yeah, I've seen all of the boys. Yeah, the boys is great. Kuzi, that happens from time to time. I, I, I believe that it, Shroud has talked about the fact that he streamed Snipe Summit years and years ago. I think I'm not. I'm not saying it's right, but I. I, I believe uh, it's not. There was, again, I've talked about this in the past, but that Uncle, not Uncle Food, what am I saying? Mr. Moon didn't exactly say no when he was asked if he stream sniped uh, Tom Syndicate, Pro Syndicate, when they met. He, he kind of was kind of quite political in his answer, you know, but I'm guessing he probably did. Uh, it's not abnormal that it happens. I know, it's not something, it's not something that's likely to happen with me, because one, I'm not big enough, you know. Like streamers like... Uh, Pro Syndicate, or they, they would, I don't know how many viewers he would have had, but it would have been more than me right now. And even if it wasn't, uh, that was a different time then. If you had three or four thousand watching in 2014, 
you were like fucking huge because Twitch is such a different website now than it was then. Uh, but yeah, I uh, I don't I don't think it will work with me so well because if I start feeling like I make it meeting the same dude two or three days running, I just shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, if it feels like it's false, I either back away or I shoot the fucker. If it feels like it's not right, I, I don't stay in it. It's time to start running! Oh, okay. He's, that's a name I've not heard for a while, Bill. Blackout, thank you very much for the Prime. That's really cool, dude. Hope you're well. Sounds gassed. It's time to start running. Happy sub anniversary, sugar tits, tears of joy. Keep up the amazing work, dude. Heart. That is annoying. I thought I thought I saw a player to the right. I think it was there, there was a zombie in the distance, but I think there's a nearer one too. Dunster, happy happy sub anniversary. Uh, uh, Sugar tits, fair enough, okay. <laughs> Just for the support, dude. It's, it's not banned of CJH, no, nope. it's uh, it's Livonia Experimental. As per the title. This is going to be slow going. Oh shit, that's no good either. Do you know what? That might. Oh, I've got four. We could we could do the underground tunnels with flares. That would. How cool would that be? Like in the underground tunnel with a with flares. That'd be pretty cool. We get a punch card. We're going to give it a try. We're going to we're going to try and do the underground area with uh, with flares only. That'd be cool. Of course, unless I find a a light, and then I won't do that. June twenty fourth, twenty fourteen. Daisy was tenth place on Twitch for, for a good while around uh, around that sort of time. It was third Viking. At, Daisy was like a top three, top five stream game for a while in early 2014. It was it was very very different than now. Like it was like uh, League of Legends, CS:GO, and then Daisy would be third. Some like often, uh, because uh, like Summit was playing Daisy and Lyric and like loads and loads of other people. Speed that these are getting damaged is just so fucking annoying. Let's just kind of pick them up. TRMZG heart, TRMZG heart, TRMZG heart. Uh, Sean Court, TRMZG heart. <laughs> thank you very much for the support, dude. Thank you. 
Cheers for the 13 months. Pepper Thanos, thank you for the Prime. Dunster, thank you for the resub, dude. Thank you. Oh, not even... Oh, that's cool. Them six years have gone pretty quick. Hope you're well, TRMZ love. Pirate, dude, how you doing? I hope you're good. Thank you very, very much for the support, man. It has been a long time. Holy shit. Cheers for the reset, man. You're very, very kind. Man. I hope you're good. Pirate streamer, thank you very much, dude. Beans. I don't know why I'm still carrying that t-shirt. Let's get rid of that. Is this in the gas or is it not? It might be in the gas, it might not. I think we might just get away with it. A lot of military loot spawning around here, isn't there? Right, I'm not I'm not gonna bother with that. We're just gonna take the, the claymore. The claymore could be a lot of fun. Tope, dude, thanks for the raid. I hope you're good, man. Thank you very much for the support, man. Hope you're good. Only seems like five minutes ago you were in here. <laughs> I hope you had a good stream, dude. Thank you. Ophelia Balls donated $10. Love your streams hard. Ophelia Balls. Why me? Well, thank you very much, Ophelia. I read it. I heard it as Ophelia. Ophelia Balls was a lot different. Ophelia Balls. <laughs> I guess Ophelia balls is exactly the same as well, but it's Thelia, but I, re I heard it as Felia. I don't know if that's my fault or Robot Lady's fault, but I'm going with it. Uh, Athelia, thank you very much for the tip. And uh, Tope, thank you very, very much, man. So we died quite some time ago at the tunnels. I'm kind of inclined to go back and have another look at the tunnels. I don't have any range right now. One thing that's definitely the case still for Livonia is that it's ridiculously hard to find scopes. It is, it's crazy hard to find scopes on Livonia still. I, I think maybe a, a touch too hard. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think it is. Viking, yeah, Daisy, Daisy has had the highest concurrent players several times over through the course of this year. I think even on like New Year's Day and or New Year, like the second of January or something, it was doing it. But it's done it several times. But the the differences between like Twitch then and like like Daisy in 2014, there was it was almost bigger on Twitch than it was on Steam, if that makes sense. You know, like there was way more people watching it in a way, not watching it than playing it. But as a percentage of the Twitch audience, it was. You know, Twitch was way punching above its weight. I think because of the stories. And in 2014, there was no escape from Tarkov. There was no battle royale genre, you know. So, like all the kinds of people that are playing, that are playing PUBG or whatever battle royale game or whatever version like COD with battle royale or Escape from Tarkov or whatever, none of those were around. And Daisy was being played not just as a survival game. It still is played like a battle royale, but it was being played like as that loads. Uh, Handmade Devil, thank you for coming in. Cheers for finding the vids, dude. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yeah, that, it was, but it wasn't as popular. I, I, don't get me wrong, like, the Battle Royale mods were very, very popular. But to watch on Twitch, I mean, I've watched Break play, uh, like, Armor 3 Battle Royale, Armor 3, like, Player Unknown's Armor 3 mod. I've, I've watched him play that quite a bit in, over the years. But it was never anywhere near as popular as DayZ was, and a lot of people used to play that. Like, I remember watching somebody like Anthony Kong fan, and this is not me digging him out, it's just the way he played. You know? Not always, but I'd watch him and he'd be sniping an Electro for like three hours, and, and he would get, get some amazing shots as well, but a, a lot of people played it that way. It happens less now, that you don't get as much of that style of gameplay. 
It was Twitch, Jeff. It was Twitch. Armour 3 Battle Royale was the same players. Yeah, it, it was not as... It was like a, a, a very small, select, real loyal amount of people that played it. How long am I streaming today? Cornbread, it's a, it's a 12 hour stream. I've been on for 10 hours and 34 minutes. Is it an official server or what? I'm on, I'm on experimental. Uh, I'm on experimental vanilla, yeah. Back, uh, I think so, yeah. There's the, the game's still in development, it's still improving. Oh, oh. Is that a zombie or a player? It's a zombie. This is good news. The zombies are upright, which means we've got a shout. But we could potentially go and do the tunnels with this. This is very, very cool. It's whether there's a punch card or not. We're not guaranteed one, but we've got an excellent chance. These are the zombie we need there with the green hat. checking for loot. I think the tanks spawn loot, but I've not really been finding a great deal on these, like loot-wise. It's been pretty shit. <gasps> Punch card, baby. Now, we can't do level 3 because we're on our own, but we can do level... We can do levels one and two, which will be kind of fun. Him, didn't it? <laughs> North yes, dude, thank you very much for the support. Really, really appreciate it, man. Thank you for the gifted subs. I know I've missed another alert. I will get there in a sec, guys. Just trying to uh, work this out. Jam will just run out. It just ran out. <laughs> LFB seven one six. Thank you for the four months. There are only PC only servers, dude. You can't play on. There's no cross platform, so uh, there is no PC and console servers. They're all PC only if you're playing on PC. So yeah, that's what I'm on. Yeah. Uh, LFB, thank you very much. Norfiets, thank you very much for the support as well. Uh, thank you for carrying on... Oh, sorry, converting your subs, your subs Norf, as well. Rono Matthias, thank you very much for the Prime. Chekoy, thanks for the resub. Red Potter, thank you for the Prime as well. And Steel Toe, thank you for the resub as well. Handmade Devil, we've been doing all right. I had a really quite a long run on... on, uh, on Namalsk. And got a little unlucky. We, we, we stumbled across a massive firefight. And uh, the, the firefight seemed was over, and I found a dude wearing the Namalsk spacesuit, the uh, the uh, the suit you need to go to Lantia. I saw somebody with it. I couldn't get it looted. Someone started shooting at me. I killed him, and then ended up in a bit of a firefight. And when I went back, the guy wearing the spacesuit had despawned, and that made for one salty, salty man's. You know, like the chance of getting a spacesuit without having to work for it seemed like kind of an orgasmic type situation, but. 
just like most of my orgasms, just as it got to the point where it really, really mattered, it, it kind of all kind of petered out, you know. It turned out to be a bit of a letdown. Ice, how you doing? Uh, thanks for coming in. Just like all of my, my orgasms, the guy in the special suit vanished right at the point when it mattered. <laughs> Uh, Wildcats, we talked about that earlier and went on for ages. So I'll just say not not any different and, and then hopefully we can avoid all the to in and fro in. My girl randomly streams running. Uh, Sir Lord, your, your girl randomly streams running because you watch this stream so much. That's kind of cool. It's not. Are you sure it's not because she has an infatuation with my amazing voice? I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying it is amazing. I'm just like trying to get into her mind. You know, that's all. Oh, it was ages ago, Wildcats. Not recently. It was ages, like like nine hours ago. Uh, Lustox, PC specialist, exclamation PC, that's the place, dude. That is the place, for sure. We died to a couple of players down here earlier. I killed one, and then the other one killed me, and I traded with him. I'm pretty sure he died too. Uh, there's a chance they might have ran back, I guess, or they might have been three and one of them survived, but I'm hoping we can just get down there and get in, you know. It would be really cool to get into that area. That would be very, very cool. It's Kekai. I, I play with 150 ping all the time. Occasionally it will cause you a slight issue, but we're playing DayZ, not CSGO, so you can normally get away with it. It doesn't normally make much of a difference. But if I play on a server with 150 ping all week, a couple of times through that week I'll notice something that was a bit ping related, you know, like... I actually had one really earlier today. I just... I still deserve to die, but the dude was, like, running and killed me before he... Re like, he didn't... He didn't really. It was just all so quick. But anyway, I, I deserve to die. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have avoided it. But sometimes you can have a situation where someone like is a. I had one a few months, a, a few weeks back. They were on a staircase and they ran around, raised their gun, and got me killed. But because of the slight ping difference, it gave gave them kind of like a little bit of a peeker's advantage. Before, like they'd only just started running on my screen, and I was kind of already dead. You know, it might just be my very slow reactions as well, by the way. But. The ping rarely will make a difference, except for when it does. If someone's connecting the server with 30 ping, and they peak you, and you've got 160, it might make a difference. But that's the same for every game ever. You know? So, Lloyd, well, fair enough. <laughs> uh, sick player, love the stream. Thank you. Cheers for tuning in. I still haven't had that Wii that I said I needed, and that, well, that was probably about an hour ago, but never mind. I have been killed up that side there a few times in the past, so I'm a little bit wary. I think a lot of players, obviously, are travelling through these trees. And I think several up further up that hill, for sure, will be overwatching the main area at the base as well. Which I'm not doing, I'm just kind of stupidly running in. 
what are my thoughts about Frankie on PC? Ace, I think he's the only reason I'm playing DayZ. I only discovered the game because of him, really. Well, I've watched one video other than his, but it was his videos that made me want to play the game. So I'm very grateful for Frankie on PC's videos because I wouldn't be finding DayZ and I wouldn't be playing it now without him, you know. But uh, he doesn't play the same version of DayZ as me anymore, you know, and that's fine. It's, it, that's not a bad thing, but when he makes videos, it's not on. It's not the game I kind of play. It doesn't make it bad, though. It's just not my kind of taste, you know. Drew, thank you for the 19 months. Paradigm Shifter, that's insane. Thank you for the gifted subs. Very, very kind. Thank you. That's my body cut up. That's my SKS. That is an amazingly good secondary for now. I'm still trying to keep the M16. Do you know what? There's not enough space in those. I'm just gonna. I'm it's gonna keep the other pants. What's up with the four flares? Well, we're about to go to the underground area without a light, so the four flares are going to come in really handy in a minute. Another SKS there. Is it hard to get night vision goggles? Yes, it is. On on vanilla Chernerus, it, they only spawn at helicopter crash sites. And there might be four helicopters on the server at any one time. Only one of those is likely to have MVGs. So you've got to find a heli. And then when you do, there's maybe a one in four chance that it'll have the, the, the MVGs on. Which I quite like. I quite like the MVGs are rare on vanilla because that makes it different at night time. If, if everybody's got MVGs, it's really hard. It, I, I guess you either need to have them really, really rare or really, really common. But if they're kind of a little bit in between, that makes it kind of tricky, you know. It, it, it's better, I like them being uber rare, because then if you've got them, you're all powerful king shit of the server. But if you haven't, you're stumbling around in the dark or using a light like everybody else is, which means you're not really as in as much danger as people might think. And Reaper, thank you for the two months. Drew, thank you for the 19. Cheers for the support. Jaffa Cakes. Jaffa Cakes. That, uh, that, what was that to the left? I really thought I heard something. It 
wasn't a Z. What I heard was not a Z. Killed the other dude somewhere around here. <laughs> Got hit by the long arm of the zombie. Oh, no. Is that a, is that a mushroom on the ground? I saw a mushroom. There's a mushroom there. I must have predicted it. So I have got a key to get in, but I'm a little bit wary of players. I don't really want to get myself killed while I while I do it. So before we go in, I think I'm just going to quickly clear the top part. Crazy Critter, thank you for the 16 months. That's really kind. Player 1. Uh, player 1 has entered the arena. Dude, thank you very much for the new sub. Thank you. The Mario, they can be. Now, I've been around a little bit, so I could have caused that to spawn. But mushrooms spawn dynamically when players are close by. So if you've just arrived in a town, no one's been there for ages. There won't be any apples or any mushrooms or whatever. Uh, if you're in an area and you start seeing a lot of mushrooms, it's usually an indication of a lot of players. I'm not going to bother looting the building. I'm not really after loot. I just wanted to come up this hill and have a bit of a steer as to whether there was any, any dudes here or not. Seems to be empty. We're just going to go and push into the area and see if we can get in the, in the tunnel. Uh, full Metal Brains, thank you for the 12 months. Very kind, dude. Thank you. Hey Peach, by the way, I think I saw saw you in the chat. I hope you're good, dude. Oscar, greetings from Poland. Love your videos. Thank you, dude. I hope you're good. I feel like I haven't quite got the line right. When I come to, when I come back from that place up there, I seem to feel like I always come the same way down, and then I end up randomly left or right of this area. I never get it right.
I don't know how long these doors stay shut for, but I kind of would like to find out. Stay open for. Five mins, eh? Fuck is that noise? Sounds like a group of uh, group of uh, builders or scaffolders moving scaffold. You know, like scaffold poles being chucked about the place is what it sounds like. Paul Bell, thanks again. Iceman, Board, Board Lenny, Julian, uh, Bam, uh, Moolah Hooligan, thank you for the follows. I don't want a bait shot or two. If anybody comes, they're coming here anyway. I, if I bait, then they're going to be really wary, like, checking corners and things. I don't know why I'm doing this, but... Like, they can check the corner and they can see that, right? If, the, if, the, if they want to. So, I don't want to bait because I don't want them to be really, th really, really overly thoroughly third-personing the corners. No way am I going to make five minutes. That sounds like a bet. Holy fuck! Canned Reaper. Dude, that's insanely kind, man. Thank you. I did, Captain. Yeah, it was a bit... It was a bug. Canned Reaper. That's insane. Thank you very, very much. First time above 7,300 subs as well. Holy fuck, man. Thank you. I hear steps for a sec. J Rock, we don't use that kind of describing stuffs there, but <clears throat> when I'm playing experimental, I just go on the fullest server. I don't choose between first and third person. I can't. I can't be picky because if there isn't a first person server full, what am I going to do, you know? Uh, Martel, thank you for the 31 months, and Canned Reaper, thank you again. 7337 is a kind of a cool number, isn't it? Holy fuck. These fucking noises. It's like it's raining out there. <laughs> what the fuck has got into you? And Reaper, thanks a lot, man. Smoking bro, how you doing, dude? I think it's good. Yeah, I like it. I do like it. I think they're they're cool. I think Livonius. That didn't feel like five minutes. 
feels really quite scary. I really badly want somebody to try and rush in. Like quick, like Indiana Jones style, rush in at the last second and then just get a claim. You say get a, don't get a key, just camp that door. But you could be waiting there for two hours before anyone shows up with a key. I don't think it's someone everyone's going to be doing all the time, you know. A lot of people come here, but I think not so many come here with a punch card. So I feel like you could be, like, you might want to camp it. But I think if you camp it, you could be waiting five, six hours before you actually have someone turn up that opens the door. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but I think it's probably more fun for most people to just go and try and do it. Guys, I've been saying I need a piss for ages. So apologies in advance, but uh, it's it's time, you know. I waited I waited for that bit there. I I, I can't wait anymore. I've got to go. I've got to go for a piss. I'll be back. I won't. Be, I'm not going to make a tear or anything, so I won't be too long. Uh, cheers for all the follows as well, guys. I won't. I won't be long.
You worried about my prostate? I haven't had a piss for fucking ages. It's time to start. Apoc Apocalypto saw. Thank you. Cheers for the prime sub, dude. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Oh, oh. fuck! Batmax, holy shit, dude. Thank you very much for the gifted subs. Thank you very much indeed, man. Thank you. Right. Make sure the door's still closed. Batmax, thank you very, very much. Apocalyptosaur, thank you again. You're very kind, guys. Thank you. I didn't make a tea. I had Code Yellow turned into... Uh, Oh, brown. So we can only do areas one and two, but we could very well end up with decent loot. I might try and get a full NBC suit if I can. You can normally get a full NBC suit while you're here. It's all right. We might we can't do Area Three because we're not on our own. Sorry, because we are on our own. But what we can do is could do Area One and Two, get a full NBC suit, and then like go off to Redenin or something. Try and find an M4 or something. That'd be kind of cool. I've never ever done a gas zone spawn on. I've never been to a permanent gas zone on Livonia ever. There was a pox injector in the last room, was there? I did miss it, then I'll grab that, Tinky. Yeah, hi, by the way. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, this is the last room. This is the one you mean, was there? Why am I not seeing it? Maybe you meant this one. I think that's what someone's calling an NBC jacket. Yeah, it was this one. Pox injector. Good spot. Well spotted, dude. Fucking hell. Oh, yeah. Mugavi. I missed that bit, dude. But yeah, it's all good. We're kind of close. We've got gloves. We've got we've got the hood. We've got the jacket and the trousers. We're not far away from a full kit. We only need the boots. There was a gas mask or three before when we were in the other town as well. You're like a game of footy. Makes me tired just watching you run all the time. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, it doesn't make me tired like IRL. Uh, running IRL does, but no, running running in Daisy doesn't make me tired IRL. It's fine. It's all okay. Quite therapeutic, I find. <laughs> right, there's the boots. Oh, that's one of the new backpacks as well. 63 slots. It's the same amount of slots. We might as well have that. So it's a hunter bag, but it's it's it di looks different. It's got like it's got a mixtape on it. It looks like an Ipswich Town logo. Yeah, slightly different. It's got a little daisy and and stop saying okay, okay. And the human heart, new passions are forever being born. The overthrow of one of all 
The overthrow of one almost always means the rise of another. Francois de la Roche for blah 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 blah. Yeah. That that de la de la blah 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 is one of my favourites. What do you get if a dinosaur kicks you up the bum? A Megasauros. Hey Paul, World Cup is right around the corner. Who do you got winning this one? Who do I got winning it? Uh, Day uh, who do I? I nearly said Daisy then, you know. I, well, I was just reading Daniel from SL and it threw me. Uh, England are going to win the World Cup. It's pretty obvious that England, with, with the way they've been playing for the last year, you know, the way they've been playing for the last year, it's blatantly obvious that they're going to win the World Cup. You know, they're, they're the form team. You know, look at the way they've done in the uh, the Nations League. They're the form team. They couldn't be any better. They couldn't be any more prepared than they are right now. Oops. Yeah, I, I'd be favouring one of the South American teams. I've got a sleek, sneaking suspicion for somebody like Uruguay, you know. just that, No, they won't win it, but... Somebody like Uruguay or Chile are going to do better than you expect. Somebody like that. Somebody, one of the South American teams. I, th I think I might be inclined to go to go f to go for Argentina as my pick. Messi is seemingly still playing very well. Uh, this is his last chance to win a World Cup. I think that would be a hell of a story. I wouldn't be surprised if Argentina won it. They just won the Copa America, didn't they? The last time last last year. I could see I could see it being Argentina. I don't think they're the best team in it, but. Sometimes in sport you're looking for the story, right? And Messi has had quite a lot of chances to win the World Cup and never quite done it. And he only just won his first Copa America as well, I think. And that that would be the story, you know, like just in his last chance. That I, it's not like a Cinderella story or anything, but sport throws up stories. And Messi winning at a World Cup and winning another like play at Ballon d'Or or something, you know, that would be uh, that would be interesting, I guess. God, the amount of people. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't read all the comments, but the amount of people. In, in yesterday's video, I was in these areas, right? But obviously, when you edit a video, you don't show every room. You just can't. But so many people are watching the video, and they're like, dude, you missed out the room in the back with the cages. You missed this. You missed that. Like, it's fucking edited. <laughs> edited. You know, like, they, no one ever says, why did you go straight from the north? down to the south. You missed half of the map. How the fuck did you do that? <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, Apocalypsosaur. Thank you very, very much for the for the gifted subs. Thank you. Uh, he knows it. Thank you for the 10 months as well. Insane. Thank you for the 70 months. You're like a game of foot. He makes me tired. Thank you again, Insane. Dude, sorry. I read the message or heard the message, but didn't say thanks. Thanks. Pretty sure I'm alone in there, Adeline. Yeah. Denmark's going to win it. Fucking hell. Yeah, that happens a lot, Uncle Food. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I really was, after the Euros last year, I was thinking England have got to the semis of the World Cup. They've got to the final of the Euros. They're getting better. They've got a young team. They're getting better. People like Saka are getting better with every game. They're getting older and better, and they've got like Phil Foden, Saka, Grealish, all these players that are kind of. I mean, Grealish is a bit older than the others, but they've got these young players that are incredibly talented coming through. And I really kind of felt like England were going to peak. The Qatar's not the ideal one because of the weather, and England kind of struggling hot, hot heat. But I really, really was feeling like this could be the one. But since the Euros last year, it's just unravelled. They look fucking useless. Like. The only way England win the World Cup is if if uh, Harry Kane scores like six, seven goals. That that's it. So Harry Kane's got to score six, seven goals. Maybe, maybe there's a chance. It probably isn't going to happen. But the reality is that every team out of the top eight or nine in the in the competition have a chance. 
England are one of the outside chances of those, but they still have a chance. Sorry, uh, Mikey Scraps, you got you got uh, no from Nightbot for all capitals posted. Sorry. Dude. So I can't do level 3, I know I can't do level 3, so we're going to do 2 and then we're going to try and get away and that's it. <laughs> that's cool. I think that's new. That's a dead end. Let's start here then. Right, you get like uh, in here, you get ammo boxes. That pristine, that one. Pristine plate carrier. Pouches are not pretty. Oh, there we go. We swapped them. That's good. NBC pants. I don't know if I want to do that, you know, that one looks a better colour. SKS, what scope? Oh, 60 round Stanag mag. AK-101. This is tricky now because I want to... Let's just go with that for now. What's the difference between the yellow and the kind of beige gear? Well, uh, one's yellow and one's kind of beige. <laughs> Sorry, I, I know, I know, I can't help it, but that matters though because if you're trying to like not get killed not wearing fluorescent shit is kind of useful. So apologies for the facetious answer, but it, it, it was needed, you know. I think that's it. I think that's level two done. You know what, I think I'm going to drop the 101. I 
ain't got time for this shit, Paul. Come on. I've definitely looted. Yeah, I looted there. I got the vest in there. Okay, let's go. Go, 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 go. Do I think Solo should be able to get to level 3? Uh, maybe, yeah, I do. I understand why. People have been asking for something that two players need to get to forever. And I think the thought process is admirable in that it encourages teaming up, but I just don't think in reality it does. I think it just rewards people playing in Discord and team speak. The idea is that you have to find a buddy, you have to find someone to team up with. We didn't have a lot more spare time, did we? Fucking hell, look, it's coming up. I think the idea is admirable, but the reality is I just don't think it works like that way. I don't think it works that way. I, and this is spoken like a true lone wolf, of course, but I can team up and I can find a friend, but... And I think that for that one life, if you meet a fresh spawn, if you meet a fresh spawn in, uh, I don't know, Brenner, where you spawn, and you say, look, let's try and get, get enough gear and go to level three of the tunnels, and then you have this amazing adventure and you do it, that one red letter life will feel great, won't it? It'll be amazing. But what will happen for 99.99% of every time that somebody comes here is that it'll just be two people that played together in Discord and they came down here and did it in Discord. It isn't really going to be for like team ups, it's going to be for squads that play together already. And squads that play together already have already got third party chat, they've already got a lot of benefits, and now they're going to get like night vision goggles. You know, they're going to get other benefits that I just personally think it's not, it doesn't achieve what it wants to achieve, it makes it easier for squads who already have it easier. Yeah, you can shout from here to level 3 without no radio. Without no radio, that was good English, wasn't it? So you, you're absolutely right, you don't need a radio. You can do it without. So, we've got a full MBC suit, including gloves. The only thing we haven't got is the gas mask. Gas mask, whatever. We need the gas mask, and we also need the uh, the filters. Now, there was gas masks back at uh, Palana. So we can maybe head that way. Jacob, the bunker's amazing. I, I disagree. I think the bunker's great. Like, the, the turning of the water to get to where you want to go is ki kind of cool. Uh, and level 3 is very cool. Like, you can only get night vision goggles, I think, on the phone, you know, in this bunker. I think that's good. The problem is that you can only go there if you've got a buddy, which is a bit OP for your buddy, like, for the way it works, you know. But I don't agree. I think as an underground area, it's very cool. I think I like it a lot. Daisy doesn't have proper underground areas, or it never has before. So having, like, this this also, I think, means it's easier for modders to do underground areas as well, I believe, the way that they've done it. I think this is, I don't think it's truly underground. I think they've got, like, more assets to make underground stuff with. I'm just trying to find the staircase up. I feel like it's this way. And it's not the most enthralling area in the world ever, but as a unique area for Livonia that nowhere else has, like I think it's very cool. I like it a lot. I do think I do think personally that it, do, it that the not being able to get to level three thing is a bit shit. But that that's talking through my own eyes, you know. I think most people that play on their own a lot was, are going to say that, you know. Most people that play Lone Wolf are going to think that it would be better if everybody could get there. 
whereas people that regularly play with their buddies in Discord it'll be like this is fucking great you know like I, I just think probably when it lands to stable community servers might come up with rather creative ways to make it possible for others to do it just another staircase. Cheers for the great content. Fuck. Somebody outside camping my exit. They might not be camping my exit, to be fair, but there's somebody outside. Possibly he's inside. Fuck it. You only live once. There's another one. It looked like he had uh, like a mine or a tripwire going up the stairs. There's somebody else shooting suppressed sets. I wish I still had that claymore. This would be epic. I could have planted the claymore in there and then waited for the guy. I've got an audio bug. If you listen to the audio now, it's like I'm still in the underground area and I'm not. Cheers, Nate, dude. There's definitely another player with a suppressed gun. 
I'm not going to reload because I don't want to make the sound of reloading right now. That's why I'm not reloading. I know I've only got 21 bullets in the mag, but if I reload right now... I've also got an SKS I can switch to as well on button number one, but if I reload, I'm going to make noise. And I know there's a suppressed player. He could be somewhere in a tree. I think I might quickly reload now. Watch it get me killed. Oh, come on. It's really going to get me killed if I can't drag the mag. Just dragging the bullets, because I want to make sure it's good bullets that go in the, in the mag, if I can. If I press and hold R, I fear it might put, might put damaged bullets in or something. GG, that's a fucking SVD. I don't know how I didn't kill him. I don't know how I didn't kill him. I don't know if my last shot hit him or not. It didn't. I'm dead. That was cool. Got a fucking SVD. That scared the shit out of me. Uh, I can't believe I killed the second one and not the first. I was convinced my first shot hit him, you know. I, was, I really thought the first shot hit him, but maybe I didn't. You know, I thought he was going to be dropped as well. That was cool. It's a little bit early, guys, but I guess that ends the stream. It's 11.30. At least we got in the tunnels again. You know, it's kind of cool. That I enjoyed that a lot. That was fun. Uh, I really thought I'd get him there, but never mind. He, he was hip-firing with the SVD. So he was he was third-personing by the tree there and then hip-firing with the SVD. But that takes skill, actually, to hip-fire with the SVD like that. I think that's probably what he was doing. But GG to him, you know.